Hello! Hello, hello, everyone! Arise, Eastern Soul Master! Ye pins that yet draw! No, I don't. Man, I'm sure there's a better way to put that. Normal time stream, no way. Shish, 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 shish. I try, I do, I do try to use the normal time on Wednesday and Friday. That's almost a guarantee that it'll be, it'll be normal. Okay, okay, Hoimer. Okay. Uh, I am PNG YouTuber again today just because Skyrim. But Skyrim, yeah. Uh, anyway, hello, hello, everyone. I am Kat Eric Halen. I am Cat Girl Extraordinaire, and today I will be reading. Ideally, I will. Ideally, today I will be reading a lot. White Bald Gate gives special PNG. I mean, do you want me to be Cat Cat? If you want me to be Cat Cat today, I could be Cat Cat. Do you guys want me to be Gremlin Cat Cat today? I can change that real fast. It looks better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll have my extremely scuffed Cat Cat PNG up then. Why not? Why not? All right, I am Cat Cat. Aha! I need to fix the size though, because it's very awkward like this. Oh. Ta da! <laughs> okay, I am Cat Cat today then. This is acceptable. Hello, sirs. Okay, so I will be reading a bunch of things. However, oh my gosh, I have so much crap in my inventory right now. Uh, I could probably sell a bunch of this. Like all those cloaks, don't really need those. Uh, mm, ooh, a bunch of wine, I could sell that. I need to find somewhere to sell it though. We did find an inn, right? I don't remember where it was, though. Yeah, I don't remember. If we can find another inn, I would love to find a general store. Like, if we could find a general store today, I'd be super happy. Um, just as a reminder to anyone who might not have seen the previous, the previous Skyrim stream, this is a randomizer well, a door randomizer challenge. So, um, previously I made it to all of the major cities and I am, well, I should, I should rephrase that. I started that very poorly. Okay. So it's a door randomizer. <laughs> it's a door randomizer, which means that every single door goes somewhere random. So this one, Likely it does not actually go into that shop. There is a very, 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 very low chance that that is actually a store. Most likely it's a dungeon. And that is the same for all the doors in Skyrim. Except for the ones that got glitched and didn't properly randomized. Didn't properly randomize. I also forgot to grab my notebook. One second. Oh, is that what you meant by stencil? Uh, yes, I am. I am cat. I am cat cat. Normally, I am cat girl Katera, but today I am cat cat. Which is fine. Cat cat is good. So. Anyway, I do have a notebook telling me where important things are, like how to get back to Whiterun and how to get back to the keep. Um, something I do want to start with today is I do want to get dragon spawning in. So because we can actually get into the keep of Whiterun, we can actually go and talk to the Jarl, 
and we can actually start the main quest line. Um, we can even get all the way up to High Hrothgar because I did find a way in there. So I think we're going to start by doing that today and then hopefully along the way we'll find a shop. But, you know, who knows? I mean, I, oh man, my carry weight's going to be a problem. Um, I've not properly read any of these. Ooh. Okay, I didn't realize I had another spell book. So I need to sell stuff. I really need to find somewhere I can just sell a bunch of garbage. But even if I can't do that, I do have a spell that lets me dredge up a body and store it again. So we can make that work. Um, but anyway, Helgen. We go east. Mm, flowers. So I do very much intend to read every single book in Skyrim. And I also have a mod that added more books. Yay! And I really want to see if we can actually complete the main quest line. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Game, please. I want to make sure I have the minion. Exactly, the long-awaited sequel to the reading stream. The next reading stream. You know what? I think we're gonna go in. There's a tower. Did I? Okay, I did get Power of the Master saved. And Oak Flesh. That was Power of the Master, right? Oh no, I didn't actually use it. Gosh darn it. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Hey, anyway, how have you two been? I hope it's been a good week for you so far. For me, it's been... it's been fine. Okay, I thought there was... Oh, it's a Spriggan. Die, Spriggan! Die to fire. Oh no. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead! Ah! Oh, I don't have enough mana for Power of the Master. Oh well. Die. Die to fire. Too cute to die. Oh, and I'm keeping the death counter up, but even if I die, I'm not gonna worry about it. So there's no real penalty for death. I just want to see how many deaths I actually will have. Probably should cook those mud crab legs. cool specific art style of normal cat girl. Well, the things that's more sketchy is not, it's not stenciled. I mean, I get, I get what you mean. I would just disagree on the term. Ooh, ranger armor. Well, it's got good value per weight, so I'll take it. Anything else in here? I think that's it. Cool. Ooh. Butterfly! Butterfly! Or moth. Not butterfly. Personally, I would call it a sketchy art style, not stenciled. 
Uh, because to me, stencil means like usually a hard piece of plastic or otherwise a cutout that lets you get a specific shape. And I don't think a stencil really fits that. Your cutout? Hey, only in PNG form, okay? Otherwise, I move. And that applies to every um, every VTuber or every PNG tuber. Okay, I know there are bandits up there, so I don't really want to engage properly. Oh, what are they fighting? Oh, 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 oh. Why do they see me? That's fine. Okay. And then I think Ice Spike is my long range spell. Yes. What the heck? Why can't I see the guy shooting at me? Oh. It's right there. And I missed. Okay. That's cool. That's fun. Is this fine? Oh. Ow. My face. I, <laughs> I walked into that arrow. That's sad. Okay, after this fight, I need to make sure that I fix the difficulty because I don't know why it was what it was yesterday. And I need to make sure that gets fixed. Okay, I spike needs to be favored it. Please all the way over there. Why doesn't Skyrim have a non mod crash logger? What? Oh, also, hi, Flo. Welcome in. I don't know. Because the code for Skyrim is spaghetti. And we all love the game, but it's got major issues. Why didn't I kill him? My goodness. Please die, sir. Oh, ma'am. My apologies. She did. Okay. Yay! Oh, the hip bone. Assume we are continuing to get the count from last time because we've already died four times less than 20 minutes. That would be hilarious. Uh, luckily, I have not died that many times today. Okay, gameplay. I don't know why I was on novice. I really don't. It should not have been. It also makes me terrified about the modded creatures because if they were doing that much damage on novice difficulty, what the heck are they going to be doing now? They were doing so much damage last time. Spider. Go, my cats. Attack the spider for me. C please? Please? Uh, do I have to do everything myself around here? Oh. Ow, my face. Ow, my face. Okay. 
Never mind. Totem, please. <laughs> You really? You're just you're not gonna help me? And I fall off. Okay, this is this is fine. I don't think my cat totem's going to help. Gosh, it's just a single stupid spider. And yet... Okay. Where is the spider? I don't actually see the spider. Almost getting one shot by normal enemies sounds fair. Yeah, yeah! more sneaking just because it's low than anything else. Unfortunately, destruction magic does not do much damage at low levels. Which makes it harder to be proper mage. Is it running away? Get back here. Yeah, this isn't even a modded enemy, it's just a normal one. <gasps> oh! It hit me! See, and then she actually does her job. She just has to get close. Oh well. One spider dead! Yay! <laughs> All right, we're heading up to that cabin. Hopefully it won't try to murder me. Oh, what am I saying? Of course it'll try to murder me. Hi and watch. I think normally this is like bandit camp. Unfortunately, I think pelts actually get heavier if I turn them into leather. So I'm going to hold off on that. Well, although I can make more bandoliers if I actually have enough. So... Leather! Alright, what patches do I have right now? Okay, I've got... Front right, back left, and back right. So we can make a front left pouch. And also side left and right. All right, leather pouch. Um, are they all just twenty-five? I thought they were fifty. I love the look of the book holders. Like, man, I need that. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything, which is very sad. Okay, so the dark box pouches, those are 50. I thought the pale pouches were also 50. I guess not. Unfortunately for the black dyed leather... Okay, but then there are the pouches. Dark file belts. Why are these ones more expensive? Okay, here we go. Just regular leather box pouches. Those are what I want. Those are 50, and unfortunately, it takes more leather than I have. So, that's unfortunate. We'll have to wait. To model. All right, let's see where this door takes us. Yay! It 
it's a cave! Oh, wolf skull cave. Okay, this is actually important to note. Uh, this is another quest location. Okay, Pine Watch is to Wolf Skull Cave. Alright. I don't really want to fight the ones in here right now. Well, we could. Actually, is there much reason to not? Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. You know, I almost wonder if turning up the difficulty also makes my minions better. Just because it feels like she's doing more damage now than she was before. I wonder if it's just because she scales off of what a regular saber cat would do. Hello, sir. She's... she's not coming. She's not coming. Why is she not coming? <laughs> Why is my summon like this? <laughs> ah! Okay. That's... that's cool. Oh no. Oh no. No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Ow. My face. I forgot that she's bugged. Oh. <laughs> Time to end this little game. I think she's a little bugged. What do you what do you think? Oh, hi. Well, at least regular Bane does die pretty fast. A lockpick! You're my favorite bandit. Did you know that? Did you know that, sir? You had a lockpick, so you're my favorite. Okay, bye. Oh, there's another door. Okay. Okay, because it's not, it's not a loading screen door, so we're okay. The heck, where did I come from? Okay, here we go. I don't think there's any more enemies in this little area. Let's see, it's not vampire. Is it vampires? I don't think it's vampires. I'm trying to think of what enemies we're going to be facing again, because I cannot remember. Oh darn it, I just realized I forgot to reinstall one of the mods I was going to. Darn it, I was going to reinstall the Ruin Clutter mod. So that I could have the subtle pressure plates. But I forgot to do that. Is someone there? No. Nope, not here. Over here. I said not here. You guys are bad at listening. Perish! 
Okay, she perished. Good stuff. Another hip bone. Don't want those. Do I have enough skilly bits to actually make somebody? Oh well, I have a lot of hip bones. Oh, I need to be picking up skulls. Oh, I have to remember. Help me remember to pick up skulls, okay guys? I can't leave them behind. Okay, but other than that... Oh, we're missing a right foot. So we got hip bone, left arm, left foot, left leg, rib cage, right arm, right leg. We're missing right feet. I need a right foot. And one skull. So I'm thinking ideally having two of each bit and then going and trying to find one of those shrines where I can actually build a skilly. And then I'll have a permanent minion. Hey, what the heck? I mean, good loot. I'm happy about the loot, but I thought this was a larger cave? What the heck? I thought Wolf Skull Cave was bigger. Which one am I remembering? Because there's... There's a cave system that you are tasked to go clear out as part of the Solitude quest line. I thought it was Wolf Skull. Is it? What cave is it then? Skull! Skull! I can't take that skull. Gosh heckin'. Okay. What? Which one is it then? If it's not wolf skull, which one is it? I thought it was like wolf something. More flowers. Just gonna save. Is that just a deer? I think so. It probably is just a deer. Yeah, we're elk. I think that's an elk, not a deer. Yeah. Ooh. Standing stones to the north. Okay, yeah, we will definitely want to hit those. Um, I figure we just hit Helgen and then head down to Riverwood. And then figure out where I'm going from there. Probably just to the keep, right? If I'm actually trying to start the dragon quest line. Hello, beehive. Didn't my mail just take all those? Alright, I know we're going to get attacked here, so just be ready, please. Uh, Stephen! Steven! Welcome in! Welcome, welcome! Well, if you've been having a good day... Read the refugees! Should I start the reading here? I'm gonna start the reading here. Let me get a drink. The Refugees by Garros Albury the smell of the bay oozed through the stones of the cellar, salt and briny decay. The cellar itself had its own sense of old wine turned to vinegar, mildew, and the more exotic spices of herbs that the healers had brought with them to tend to the wounded. 
There were more than 50 people squeezed into the big earthen room, which had once been forgotten stored for the brothel above. The groaning and whimpering had ceased for now, and all was still, as if the hospital had turned into a mass grave. Mother, a red guard boy whispered, what was that? The boy's mother was about to answer him when there was another rolling roar from outside, which grew louder and louder, as if some great but incorporeal beast had come into the cellar. The walls trembled and dust burst from the ceiling in a rain of powder. Unlike the last time, no one screamed. They waited until the weird, haunting sound had passed, and then was replaced by the soft rumble of the distant battle. A wounded soldier began whispering Mara's prayer from the doomed. Mankar, a Bosmer woman curled up in a cot hissed, her eyes feverish, flesh wide and wet with sweat. He is coming. Who is coming? asked the boy, grasping his mother's skirt tight. Who do you think, lad? The sweets monger? The grizzled, one-armed red guard growled. The Karaman usurper. The boy's mother shot an angry look at the old warrior. She doesn't know what she's saying. She's sick. The boy nodded. His mother was usually right. He had not yet been even born when the people began whispering that the Karaman usurper was coming towards her little village. And she had packed up their belongings to flee. Their neighbors had laughed at her. She said, saying that Rihad and Tanith would handily defeat him. Her husband, Lugar's father, who he was never to meet, had also laughed at her. It was the harvest time, and she would miss out on the celebrations. But his mother, Miakul, was right. Two weeks after she fled the village, she heard the tale that they had been obliterated during the night with no survivors. Rihad and Tanith had fallen. The usurper was unstoppable. Lucar had been born and grown up in the refugee camps throughout Hammerfell. He had never known a friend for more than a few days. He knew that when the sky burned red to the west, they would pack up and move east. When it burned to the south, they moved north. At last, after twelve years of moving from camp to camp, they had taken passage across the Elak Bay to the province of High Rock and the barony of Dwin. There, Miyako had promised and hoped that they would have a peaceful, permanent home. It was so green there, it blinded him. Unlike Hammerfell, which was only green in certain seasons and in certain places, Dwin was verdant year-round, until wintertide, when it began to snow, and Lugar had been frightened of it at first. He was ashamed to think of it now, when there was real danger, the red clouds of war, the stink and the pain of the refugee camp. That was familiar. Now the red sky was on the horizon of the bay and coming closer, and he longed for the days when a scattering of the white made him cry. Mankar, the Bosmer woman cried out again, he is coming and he will bring death. No one is coming said a pretty young Breton healer, coming to the woman's side. Hush now. Hello, came a voice from above. The whole room, almost together as one, gasped. A Bosmer limped down the shoddy wooden stairs, his friendly face obviously not that of the Cameron usurper. Sorry if I frightened you, he said. I was told there were healers here, and I could use a little help. Rosanya hurried to take a look at the Bosmer's wounds on his leg and chest. Disheveled, but still beautiful, she was one of the favorites at the brothel, who had learned her healing skill along with her more vocational skills at the house of Debella. She carefully but quickly pulled the rent leather curios, charses, tassets, greaves, and boots off him, and placed them to the side while she examined the injuries. The old Red Guard warrior picked them up and studied them. You were in the war? Next, which is probably a better way to put it, the Bosmer smiled, wincing slightly at Rasanya's touch. Behind it, beside it, in front of it. 
My name's Orban Elmok. I'm a scout. I try to avoid the real battle so I can get back and report what I see. A good job for people who don't like the color of their own blood very much. Hits him, said the warrior, shaking Orban's hand. I can't fight anymore, but I can fix up this armor if you're going to return. You're a leathersmith? Nah, just a jack of all trades, replied Huzim. What the heck are these names? <laughs> Opening up a small canister of wax to prep the hard but flexible leather. I could tell you were a scout from the armor, though. Can you tell us what you've been spying on? We've been down in here for half a day now with no word from the outside. The entire Eelok Bay is one great battlefield on the waves, said Orban, and sighed as Rasana's spell began to close his jagged but shallow wounds. We shut off the invasion from the mouth of the bay, but I was coming from the coast, and the enemy's army is marching over Rothgarian Mountains. That's where I had my little scuffle. It's not too surprising, moving the flank in from the side while the front battle is occupied. It's a play right out of Cameron Kalk's Books of Tricks, The Heart King Borrowed. Is that an H or a K? I, I can't tell. It kind of looks like it should be a K. Or is it a... It's probably not a B. Oh no, I feel like Heart. The Heart King. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say heart. Book of tricks the heart king borrowed. The heart king, Lucar asked. He had been listening quietly, understanding everything except that. Hey men Cameron, the Cameron usurper. Hey men heart king. They're all the same, lad. He's a complicated fellow and needs more than one name. You know him? Miyako asked, stepping forward. Near on twenty years. Before this whole black bloody business, I was Cameron Colt's chief scout, and Heyman was his sorcerer and advisor. I helped them both when they were vying for the Cameron throne and began the conquest of- Ouch! Rasanya had ceased her healing. With eyes of fury, she had reversed her spell and the closed, mended wounds were opening again. Dark infections returning. She held him with surprising strength when Orban tried to pull back. You bastard, the healer courtesan hissed. I have a cousin in Felisty, a priestess. She's fine, Orban yelped. Lord Carltos was very adamant about not harming anyone who did not pose a threat. Pose a threat? Hmm. I could see healers counting as posing a threat. I think the people of Kavaj would disagree with that assessment, said Hazim coldly. That was horrible. The worst thing I've ever seen. Orban nodded. Rautos wept when he saw what Haman had done. My master did everything he could to stop it, begging the Heart King to return to Valenwood. But he turned on Krautos, and we fled. We are not your enemy, and we have never been. Krautos could do nothing to prevent the horror that the Usurper had brought to the Col Colovian West and Hammerfell, and he has fought for fifteen years to prevent more. The frightening bestial roar passed through the cellar again, even louder than before. The wounded could not help groaning in helpless terror. And what is that? Miyako sneered. Another of Cameron Kraltos' tricks that the usurper picked up? It is indeed a trick, as a matter of fact, Orban yelled above the screech. It is a phantasm he employs to scare people. He had to use fear tests. Fear tactics in the beginning when his power was ascending, and he has to fall back on them now for his power is waning. That is why it took him two years to conquer Valenwood, and another thirteen and a half to conquer Hammerfell. Oh, thirteen to half conquer Hammerfell. No offense to you Redguards, but it isn't only your battle prowess that has been holding him back. He does not have the support he used to have from his master. The echoing roar increased in intensity before once again falling silent. Mankar, the Bosmer woman groaned. He comes, and he will destroy all. His master, Asukar? But Orban's eyes had gone to the Bosmer woman, curled up in her blood-soaked cot. Who is she? Orban asked Rosanya. 
one of the refugees, of course, from your friendly little war in Phelanwood before you and Kraltos change sides. The healer replied. I think her name is Kallus. By Jeffer, Orban whispered under his breath, limping over to the woman's cot and wiping the sweat and blood streaked hair from her pallid face. Kallus, it's Orban. Do you remember me? When did you get here? Did he hurt you? Mankar, Callus moaned. That's all she says, said Rasanya. I don't know what it... I don't know what that is, Orban frowned. Not the usurper, though she knew him too. Very well. She was a favorite of his. His favorites. You, Krautos, her. All seem to turn against us, said Milak. E Milakul. That is why he will fall, replied Hazim. Armored footfall rang along the ceiling, and the cellar door burst open. It was the captain of Baron Orthox Castle Guards. The docks are on fire! If you want to live, you'll need to take refuge out at Castle Whitemore. We need help, Rasanya called back. But she knew that the guards were needed for defense, not to help carry the sick to safety. With ten guards who could be spared and the most able-bodied of the wounded assisting, the cellar was emptied as the streets of Dwin filled with smoke and fire began to spread through the chaos. It had been a single fireball miscast out at sea striking the docks, but the damage would be tremendous. Some hours later, in the courtyard of the mighty castle, the healers were able to set up the cots and begin to tend once again to the suffering of the innocent. The first person Rasanya found was Orban Elmlock. Elmlock. Even with his wounds reopened, he had helped carry two of the patients into the castle. I'm sorry, she said as she pressed her healing hands out onto his wounds. I lost my temper. I forgot that I am a healer. Where is Callus? Orban asked. She's not here, Rasanya said, looking around. She must have run away. Run away? Well, wasn't she injured? It was not a healthy situation, but new mothers can surprise you with what they can still do when it's all over. She was pregnant? Orban gasped. <gasps> yes, it wasn't such a difficult birth in the end. She was holding the boy in her arms when I saw her last. She said she had done it herself. She was pregnant, Orban murmured again. The mistress of the Cameron Super was pregnant. Word quickly spread throughout the castle that the battle was over, and more than that, the war was over. Aim and Cameron's forces had been defeated at sea, and in the mountains. The Heart King was dead. Lugar watched down from the battlements into the dark woods that surrounded Dwin. He had heard about Callus, and he imagined a desperate woman fleeing with her newborn baby in her arms into the wilderness. Callus would have nowhere to go. No one to protect them. She and her baby would be a refugee, like Miyagu and him had been. Reflecting back, he remembered her words. He is coming. He is coming. And he will bring death. He will destroy all. Lukar remembered her eyes. She was sick, but not afraid. Who is this he? Who was coming if the Cameron Usurper was dead? Did she say nothing else? asked Orban. She told me the baby's name, Rasanya replied. Mankar. That was a lot longer than I expected. Good stuff. Let me just go ahead and loot this. Baby destroyer. Yep. I expected this. Perish. Oh no. Wait, where's where's my girl? What the heck? Die already. No, you die already. Since the reading is over for now, how does the mod load order work? Um, 
in the Vortex mod manager, that's what's called, mod manager, um, there is a built-in mod loader. It uses loot and frankly I just use whatever recommendations it has unless a mod very specifically says like to do this or that. But frankly I haven't really had any any issues with that so the auto sort works pretty well at least with the mods I'm using. Or was it like a specific question you had? I'm just resumming my cat. I was probably wait, I did just save. What am I doing? You press the recommended thing and still get conflicts? Um which conflicts are you getting? Because oftentimes if you are getting conflicts, you can then manually go in under the little notifications bar. Uh you should be able to go in there and tell it to show you what conflicts and then decide which one should be loaded after. So you want the one to override be the one that is loaded after. Um, I guess if you want to send a screenshot, there's a lot of them. Okay, did you... Did you hit auto sort or just to sort? Please. For a little bit of a pain. Um, I would definitely hit the button that just tells it to sort. See what happens. Uh, sometimes you might just have to restart. Just restart the, uh, the mod manager. You use the use suggestions. Um, well, if those aren't working, then you might need to go back and manually adjust them. And many of them are just question marks now. Yeah, you probably need to go through and just manually do it. So if you're unsure of which direction they or which one should be loaded after, go back and look at the actual mod pages. Um, yeah, if you want help with it later, I can do that if you want to send screenshots to the, uh, to the Discord. Hey, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that these stores did not get randomized. I'll poke them really quick, but I think Hell Can Keep is actually Hell Can Keep. I think it's one of the few areas that doesn't get redone. Oh no, Gunjar is dead. Oh man, what a shame. You'd rather not for reasons. Understandable. Why are you going with the sussy adult mods? Hmm. Hmm, Hoimer. Hmm. Perhaps. Uh-huh. Okay, so now that we got the journal, I guess I should probably read the journal. I don't really care about the journal, but... Da, 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 da. Adventurous journal! This journal contains several undated entries. First entry. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is ending soon and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts were recovered. Second entry. I received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seem quiet for now, probably for the first time since High King Torg was killed. Uh, by the way, this is a modded piece of 
content, so yeah, this is just part of the um, alternate start, live another life. Basically, if you don't do vanilla start, you can find this journal. Da, da, da. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night, so long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. Dear Dintry, so much for being discreet. I crossed the border near a small village called Helgen and made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area has been filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they're searching for someone. Someone very important. If I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I'm singing here in Skyrim, but crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad plan. Fourth entry. I woke early this morning with Imperial sword pressed to my neck. A patrol found me camped under a rock outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they've been taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety looking old hag. Nag. Not hag. <laughs> At least they let me keep my journal. For now. Fifth entry. Shores, bones, if only I'd known sooner. The ambush, the captives of the cart with me. Stormcloak rebels, led by none other than Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If I had, if it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd not even be here to write this down. Yes, a dragon, big, black, as large as the towers of the keep itself. I swooped in out of nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Tullius didn't take my head today, or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels, but that doesn't matter now. Avdar and Roloff set aside their differences to help the survivors. They went into the lower keep hours ago. Something about caves with the back entrance. I don't think they're coming back. I'll have to see if I can get out of the city and down to Riverwood. Someone needs to warn them. This building won't remain standing for much longer. I still can't believe it. A dragon! Straight out of the legends. They'll be back home will ever believe me. Now, why do they take the time to write that down? And then we just find on a charred corpse. Really? Okay. Anyway, we are hanging down to Riverwood. Whee! And there's Bleak Falls Barrow up there, which I very much do not have. Oh shoot, that is gonna be a... That's a problem. We haven't found Bleak Falls Barrow. Specifically, I have not found the Dragonstone Tablet. Heck, I forgot about that part. I was thinking, oh, I found so many pieces, we can actually start the main quest line. But no. No, not yet. Darn it. Is that, is that the hunter? Is that the friendly man? Hello, are you friendly? I've been hunting and fishing. Hey, it's just a hunter. Take a look. Hey, maybe I can sell some booze. Nope, I can't sell booze. Darn it. <laughs> Wait, he would actually just buy human remains. That's incredible. That's really funny. Until next time. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. Do you do you have a lockpick? No, he just has pelts. Okay, never mind. All right then. All right, to the mine, I guess, because it's right here, and then to the standing stones, because I very much want the mage one. Don't worry, it's just a little bit of Skyrim mountain climbing. Nothing to worry about. <gasps> Nothing to worry about! <laughs> oh. Um. Hi. Oh, I missed. Where is he? Just down there. Go, my cat. 
Are you kidding me? Don't run away! Oh my gosh, she's gonna time out before she even kills him. Eh. Then I got stuck on a rock. Okay. Mmm, cloak. A lockpick! I love it when they have lockpicks. Okay, well... You know what? Standing stone is right here. So is the mine, though. I already discovered the mine. I should check inside. No. Ah, okay. Standing stones. And then the mine. Mage, 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 mage. 20% faster! Yay! <laughs> Oh gosh, I need that. I need the XP. It's so important. Okay. Just gonna save, just in case, because you never know what's on the other side. Okay. <laughs> I was actually able to draw water. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Okay, and with that, it's time for a three minute break. Wait, can I? I might be stuck. I actually might be stuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out! <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, oh! Try a sight. Okay, come on. Come on. Uh, hunting brew metery? Hey, I was right. This is hunting brew. Okay, anyway, uh, time for a three minute break. Get up, get a drink, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do. I will see you guys again in three minutes. And. I said... go.
shoot, I'm later than I thought. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to get a drink refill and some chips and... I got my chips. I got my drink refill. But then I also dropped a chip. And turns out my cat likes chips. I'm not surprised. She likes a lot of things. You know, most cats are thought to be picky eaters. My cat... She's a bit of a gremlin. So where's the other door out here? Oh, there it is. She would go through the hunting brew meadery. I don't... I don't think there's much point in me really going through here, though. Other than seeing what's on the other door. Venom things. Ow, Venom things. <gasps> ah! Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to die. Might be easy if you choose more carefully what mods you download and redo the whole thing. Yeah, there are definitely. Darn it. Ow. Okay. <laughs> well, that didn't work very well. Venom things keepers hurt. Um, I would definitely go through your mod list and just see which ones have conflicts. Because there are definitely some that just do not play well with each other. And that might be what you're running into. Okay. I don't know if I can get back through the door, so... Seems it's this one here. Oh, come on, come on, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. I just want to see if I could draw water, because I thought it'd be funny. Ah, okay. Uh-oh. Okay, Shrine of Sight. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. I'm looking at the portals. Okay, sight, resolution. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Can you can you open it for me? Please. That'd be that'd be great. Please. No. I think he refuses. Okay, that's that's cool. I'll just have to choose. Temple balcony. What? Temple balcony. Oh, I need to up the death counter. Oh. Uh, where? This looks, this looks dangerous. This looks very dangerous. I do not like the look of these spider webs. I do not like that. I feel like there's a giant spider here just waiting to murder me. Oh, and my sneak increased. Okay. That's, that's fun. That's cool. I still don't know where the enemy is, but okay. Uh, let me, let me change the death counter really quick. Let me pop that back up to five. Back up to five, yeesh. No, no, at five. Not back up to five, just at five. Um, can I 
caster down there? I think that's too far. Yeah. Could put her down there, but that'd be useless. Uh, how about just right there? And something detected me now. It's just, it's gotta be a giant spider, right? No. Seriously, where the heck even is this? I mean, I know we're in Blackreach. I know that much. I don't really want to be in Blackreach, though. I mean, we could, but I don't know. Not, not my favorite place to be. Ah. Okay. Let's get out again. Ugh. Let me out. Okay, temple balcony. That's where we just were. Shrine of Radiance. That's a master lock. So it's probably a quest location. Oh, that was just open. That might be... That might be Hunting Brew. Actually, no, no. Shrine of Sight. That was Hunting Brew. I should probably write that down. I should probably write that down. Or we could just go through it. Maybe try and actually kill the skeepers this time. Okay, sure. I will give it another shot. Okay, shrine of sight. Here we go. Okay. Summon her. And while my mana recharges. Yeah! You go, my summon! I believe in you. What? Don't come after me! She does seem to be doing good damage, which I'm very, very happy about. Unfortunately, the stupid Venom things. They only give regular Skeever Tails. Oops. <gasps> no, did I hit my cat totem? Ah, no! No, not poison spells. No. No. Ah. Panic. Panic level. <laughs> I need magic. Oh my gosh, four perks. Oh, what should I spend these on? Conjuration. I already did conjuration mastery. Maybe alteration. Oh, I'm so close to 30. Ooh. I do like Plain Melt as well. Able to summon Daedra and other non undead minis five times further away. Grains Conjure Flame Adronach. That could be very, very useful. Hmm. Gee, I sure would like to hit destruction level 20. That'd be nice. Um, I think res restoration mastery is just good to have. At least number one. I should probably get number two as well. I also really like descending light. When you enter combat, rapidly regenerate points of magicka equal to half your restoration skill per second. This effect gradually diminishes over a course of 15 seconds. Grant Shield of Daybreak and Mystic Wind. 
I do very much like both of those. Or not necessarily the spells, but like that effect. Also, just alteration is quite nice. I am definitely planning on doing a lot of alteration stuff. Um, archery could be good, but I am trying to not rely on archery. So I don't really want to be spending my perk points on that. Oh, lock picking. Okay, so I, I need wax key. That was actually a necessity for this. I mean, maybe not a necessity, but gosh darn it, I do not want to be picking every lock five times over. Especially going back into the major cities. I just, I don't want to deal with it. So, I will grab those. And then I am saving my last perk for... Probably for plain build. Well, I don't know. Maybe not plain build. Probably just destruction level two. Okay. I'm diseased. And she just lays down on top of his corpse. Okay, that's seems a little rude, but okay. Oh, 8% chance to reduce cooldown of your shouts to 3 seconds. That's a pretty interesting one. Alright, gold! Hamlin's Journal. Ooh, look at that book cover. I installed the book covers of Skyrim mod and I... I think it's so pretty. I love it. So, we will read that. We are also definitely taking his hands. <laughs> And then his journal. Ten years of ridicule. Ten years of imprisonment. Ten years of exile. The children threw rocks and the women spat upon me as the menfolk dragged me into Whiterun's prison. They branded me a danger to their pitiful existence. Use words like madman and insane. Could a madman escape the prisons undetected? Could a lunatic establish a laboratory right under their noses? Could a psychopath create a mighty army from the common skeever? Yes. Yes, the, the answer to that is yes. All those is yes. My days as an apprentice alchemist in Winterhold were no better. Those egotistical braggarts couldn't compete with my abilities. Where they fell short, I'd constantly excel. Did they appreciate my genius? Did they radish my contributions? No. My instructors beat me as setups, irresponsible, and the Archmage cast me into the streets like a common beggar. As my enemy grows complacent and weak, as they forget Hamelin and his utter brilliance, I build my army. I use every bit of knowledge at my disposal to forge their demise. Thanks to Sandrone's unwitting assistance, my legion grows stronger every day. The irony that the same ingredients used to make his vile drink could be used to feed my offspring isn't lost upon me. Oh, they will pay. Their ignorance of, of impending annihilation amuses me. I will bury White Run and watch Winterhold burn. And when they experience the fury I've unleashed upon them, when my progeny are gnawing the flesh from their bones, they will come begging and groveling at my feet. But there will be no mercy, no quarter, and no leniency. And I will laugh, and I will dance, and I will rejoice over their mangled, broken corpses. The time for recompense has arrived. Ten years of pain. Ten years of misery. Ten years of death. I think he had a little bit of baggage. I don't know, just, just a little bit. Just seems that way to me, you know? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm misreading the situation. Okay. Stamina. Three thieves. <laughs> Can I just pick it up this time? <laughs> okay. 
Let me let me get another drink. For the most part, I'm just gonna be reading these as we find them. I know I have not yet um, read everything in my inventory. I need to do that, but yeah, not not yet. Okay, three thieves by anonymous. The problem with thieves today, said Lados, is the lack of technique. I know there's no honor among thieves, and there never was, but there used to be some pride, some skill, some basic creativity. It really makes those with a sense of history despair. Emeline sneered. Slammy does flagon of grief. Grief? What what the heck is a flagon of grief? That must just be like some sort of booze. Slimy Dad's flagon of grief violently on the rough hewn table. Back, what do you want us to say? You ask us what do you do when you see a guard, and I'll let us stab the fetcher in the back. Or you prefer we challenge him to a game of chit? So much ambition, so little education, said Leros with a sigh. My dear friends, we aren't mugging some Nord tourist fresh off the ferry. The cobbler's guild hall. The Cobbler's Guild Hall may not sound intimidating, but tonight, when the dues collection is housed there before being sent to the bank, the security is going to be tighter than Aquama's ass. You can't just stab at every back you encounter and expect it to make it into the vaults. Why don't you explain specifically what you like us to do, asked Gailish calm calmly, trying to keep the tone of the group down. Oops. <laughs> Most locals at the Plot and Plaster Corner Club in Tel On knew enough not to listen in, but she knew better than to take any chances. The common thief, said Lados, pouring himself more grief, warming to his subject, sticks his dagger in his opponent's back. This may slay the target, but more often gives him time to scream and drenches the attacker with blood. Not good. Now, a good throat slashing. Properly executed, can both slay and silence a guard, and leave the thief relatively blood free. And after all, after the robbery, we don't want people seeing a bunch of blood soaked butchers running through the streets. Even in Tel Arun, that's likely to warrant suspicion. If you can catch your victim lying down asleep or resting, you are in an excellent position. If you place one hand over the mouth with your thumb under the chin, then you use your other hand to slit the throat and quickly turn the head to one side so the body bleeds out away from you. There's a risk of, there's a risk here of becoming bloodstained if you don't move the head quickly enough. If you're unsure, strangle the victim first to avoid the blood that tends to spurt out in the three-foot chest when someone is stabbed while alive. Three foot jets, that would be very impressive to see. A very good friend of mine, a thief in Guinness whose name I won't mention, swears by the strangling slash technique. Simply put, you grab your victim's throat from behind, and while throttling him, you batter his face against the opposite wall. When the victim is thus rendered unconscious, you slash his throat while still holding him from behind, and the risk of staining what's close with blood is practically non-existent. The classic technique, which requires less grappling than my friend's variation, is to place one hand over the victim's mouth and then saw through the throat in three or four strokes rather than rather like playing a violin. It requires a little effort, and while there's quite a bit of blood, it all jets forward away from you. There's no reason. There's no reason when one knows one's going to be slitting some's throat not to take some precautions and bring some extra equipment. The best neck hackers I know generally carry a bit of wadded cloth on the aft side of their knives to keep blood from getting on their cuffs. It's impractical for this sort of assignment, but when you're only anticipating one or two victims, nothing beats throwing a sack over the target's head, drawing the string tight, and then supplying the killing blow or blows. Emmeline laughed loudly. Can I see a demonstration sometime? Very soon, said Leros. If Gasly has done her job. Gasly brought out the map of the guildhouse, freshly stolen, and they began to detail the strategy. The last several hours had been a whirlwind and all. In less than a day, the three had met, formulated a plan, bought or stolen the necessary ingredients, and were about to execute it. 
Not one of the three were sure whether confidence or stupidity were driving the other two, but the fates were aligned. The guild house was going to be robbed. When the sun set, Leidos, Galcia, and Emelyn approached the cobbler's guild house on the east end of town. Galcia used her cahoots of stone flower to mask their scent from the guard wolves as the three passed over the parapets. She also acted as lead scout, and Leidos was impressed. For someone of relative inexperience, she knew her way through the shadows. Leidos's experience demonstrated a dozen times, and the guards were of such a diverse variety he was able to demonstrate all the means of silent assassination he had developed over the years. Emelyn opened the vault as unique and systematic method. As the tumblers fell beneath his fingers, he softly sang an old ditty tavern song about the 99 lovers of Bodioth. He said it helped him focus and organize difficult combinations. Within seconds, the vault was open and the gold was in hand. They left the guild house an hour after they entered. No alarm had been raised, the gold was gone, and the corpses lay pooling in blood on the stone floors within. Well done, my friends, well done! You learned well, Leto said as he poured the gold pieces into the specially designed compartments in his tunic sleeves, where they held fast with no jingling or unusual bulges. We'll meet back at the plot and plaster tomorrow morning and split up the bounty. The group parted ways. The only person who knew the most covert route through the suit, through the city sewer system, Lados, slipped in through a duct and vanished below. Galcia threw on her shawl, muddied her face to resemble an old fla fortune teller, and headed north. Imalin headed east to the park, trusting his unnatural senses to keep him away from the city watch. Now I teach them all the greatest lesson of all, thought Leidos as he sloshed through the labyrinthine tunnels of his sludge. His guar was waiting where he left it at the city gates, making a laconic lunch of the chokeweed shrub to which it had been leashed. On the road to Vivek, he thought of G Galcia and Imlin. Perhaps they had been caught and brought him for questioning already. It was a pity he couldn't see them undergoing interrogation. Who would break under the pressure first? Imalin was certainly the tougher of the two, but Galcia doubtless had hidden reserves. It was merely intellectual curiosity. They thought his name was Leidos, and he was meeting them at the plot and plaster. The authorities won't therefore be looking for a Dunmer named Sathya celebrating his wealth miles and miles away in Vivek. As he prodded his mount forward and the sun began rising, Sathya's pictured Galcia and Imelin not undergoing interrogation but sleeping the good deep sleep of the wicked, dreaming of how they would spend their share of gold. Wolf would wake up early and rush to the plot and plaster. He could see them now, Emelin laughing and carrying on, Garcia hushing him to avoid bringing undue attention. They would take a couple of flagons of grief, of grief, perhaps order a meal, a big one, and wait. Hours would pass, and so would their moons. The chain of reactions that every betrayed person exhibits. Nervousness. Doubt. Bewilderment. Anger. The sun was fully risen when Sathias reached the stables of his house on the outskirts of Vivek. He regained... No. He reined in his guar and filled its feed. The rest of the stalls were empty. It wouldn't be that... It wouldn't be until that afternoon, when his servants returned from the Feast of St. Realms and Guinness. They were good people, and he treated them well. But from past experience, he knew that servants talked. If they began to connect his absences with thefts in other towns, it was only a matter of time before they would go to the authorities or blackmail him. After all, they were human. It was best in the long run to give them a week off with pay whenever he was out of town on business. He sipped the gold into... The he slipped the gold into the vault in his study and went upstairs. The schedule had been tight, but Sathias had given himself a few hours to rest before his household returned. His own bed was wonderfully soft and warm compared to the dreadful mattress he had to use at the canton in Tel Arn. Sathias woke up sometime later from a nightmare. For a second after he opened his eyes, he thought he could still hear Imelin's voice nearby, seeing the 99 loves of Boethian. He lay still in his bed, waiting, but there was no sound except for the usual creaks and groans of his old house. 
Afternoon sunlight came through his bedroom window in ribbons, catching dust. He closed his eyes. The song returned, and Sathis heard the vault door in his study swing open. The smell of stone flower filled his nose, and he opened his eyes. Only a little of the afternoon sunlight could pierce through the inside of the burlap sack. A strong, feminine hand clamped over the mouth, and a thumb jabbed under his chin. Just as his throat opened and his head was shoved to the side, he heard Gaussia in her typical calm voice. Thank you for the lesson, Sathias. Good reason to not betray your new partners. And also, teaching them the best ways to kill might, might not be the best way to go if you are planning on betraying them. I know, I know, crazy, crazy thing to say. Love you. Oh, she did. Close room. I don't think there's much more here. Well, actually, no, no, there is. Whee! What's that tripwire do again? Is it a rock? Oh no, there's the ball chain. Well, oh, I might as well. I don't want my summons tripping on these. <laughs> oh boy, spider webs. Almost like I'm walking into a spider den. Oh boy. Who could have seen that coming? Ow. You can do it! Don't die. Oh, she's doing so good. Die, die. Okay, good, to die. I'm also slightly dying. That's okay. Oh, mushrooms. I need these for potions later. What a fault. Shh. Ah, I saw the spiders move. He's like, no. But no, it was just the dirt. Just the ceiling dirt. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Mushrooms. There's so many mushrooms in this cave. Okay, I think I looted all those. Yes. Excellent. Mmm, skeever tail. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for here, as I'm immediately proved wrong. Go, my girl! Oh, okay, she died really fast. She died really fast. Run! I can just kind of get away, resummon her. Because Venom Fangs are very rude. Let me cast it on you. OK, 
Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me just doing melee bow. This is fine. Maybe being in here is a bad idea, but... Oh, come on, the enemies know I'm here. I think I just have to wait for her to time out. Good time for a drink. Is that Skeever coming? I don't think it is. Okay, well, I, I need to wait for her to time out. Otherwise, the spell will just not do anything. Okay, bye. I'll see you again soon. Okay, I'm going to get a little closer. And then cast it. Actually, it is... You know, spider room might be a good spot. Maybe. Let's just go corridor. Corridor is good. Okay. No, don't don't leave me. Oh my gosh. No. No. I don't like a trap between you and the skeever. It's probably a venom thing. I don't want to die. Please. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh wait, it's a regular. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I thought it was probably another Venom thing. Okay. In my defense, they look the same. Girl, please. This is the problem with being a minion. Minion mage. Minion master. Please. Especially in cat form, she just takes up so much room. I need through, please. Okay. My goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, Weimer. Um, you could always try removing just a few mods, removing the conflicting ones. Uh, you are using Vortex. The um, Nexus in house one, right? As your mod manager? You remove the conflicting ones, and yes, okay. <laughs> ah, that's a fan thing. That's a fan thing. Die, die, die. Okay. Okay. Made it back into the meter. I think I'm actually going backwards. Funny enough. Oh wait, I don't I don't want stolen mead. I can't sell that. Just drop one. If it's down there, it doesn't count as stolen. Up here, it does. I can't deal with stolen ones. Can you remove the conflicting ones and yeah. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry, Weimer. I don't know what to say at this point. Other, th yeah, I don't know. Oh, hello. Okay. Um, I don't think that's a particularly useful. 
set. Wait, what was the Great Hall back door again? Oh, is that the one to um, White Run? The oh, where is it? Okay, Skull Village Great Hall back door. Great Hall, Great Hall, Great Hall. I don't remember what it was. I could have sworn I wrote it down, but... Yeah, I don't know. Because we have been here before. I thought we were even going through the Great Hall back door. What was it? I thought it was one of the earlier ones. You guys remember it all? Oh well, I'll just have to write it down again. Hello, people. Seriously, what was it? Or was it just so inconsequential that I didn't write down? Oh, it was Alva's house. Okay. Okay, I kind of remember now. Because... Because there's not really anything in her house proper. It's the basement that I actually need. Oh, it's High Hrothgar! Okay. Okay. Oh, bad. Eh. We'll go back through. We'll go back through and we'll try out those other portals. Um, or we could try out the houses here and see where they take us. It's also something out there. Um, maybe... Oh wait, does the High Hrothgar actually take me to White Run? Hold up. Hi Hrothgar. Yes, yes, High Hrothgar does actually take me to White Run, so I think we are gonna go back in there. Uh, mostly because I need to sell stuff. I don't think any of the villagers here function as a shop. So through Alva's house. I'm technically trespassing, but it doesn't matter. Okay, to High Rothgar. This is the south door. Okay, I did. I did write down Skull Village Great Hall. Hello, Greybeards. I'll be back. Um, wait, run. North back door. North back door. North back door? North back door. So when you still learn cartography, that'd be so freaking hard trying to draw an actual map. But what do you mean? Nah. I've been looking for you. 
Got what something do I'm want? supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Oh, who's that dude? Let's oh, see. it's a ah, Dongard guy. Tomorrow. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. I guess I can officially start you the Dongard. The Dongard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Sure. Yeah? You change your mind? The Dawn Guard could use somebody like you. Uh... He looks like a vampire. Like, he legitimately looks like a vampire. He's got the vampires. Killing vampires? Where do I sign up? Uh, Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Yeah, how, how do I actually get there, though? Sir, sir, can I, can I look at your eyes again? And get moving if you're serious about it. The vampires aren't going to wait around to make their next move. Like, those very much look like vampire eyes. It might be because of a mod I have. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. I have news about the dragons. I didn't realize they could stop you in town if you just wind up in town. Fine. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I should have my mercantilism. My jest is close. Hello, ma'am. Would you like to buy I some stuff I have? Looking to protect yourself? Or you call him ugly? Damage. I'm not calling him ugly. I'm saying that he looks a lot like a vampire. It's very different. Should I even keep that workish mace? I never use it. Hey! Level up again. Nice. Uh, I'm never gonna use that shield. I'll go ahead and just sell- well... No, we'll be heading up to- we'll be heading up to the keep here soon. So I'll keep it to disenchant. I will sell these though. Can I buy any lockpicks? No, okay. It's fine. I feel like I should just sell the dwarven ingots. I'm not going to use them. And they are just so heavy. But she'll also give me almost nothing. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I would if I could, ma'am. Okay, let's let's go ahead and head up to the key. All right, where? Oh wait, shoot! Why did I? All right, that just has me back to Solstein. How do I get to the keep again? Okay. Dragon's Reach. Okay. Which means I need to go back to Zincha left, which means I need outside. How do I get outside? How do I get outside again? Okay... What do I got here? Raven Rock... Oh right, the Brian Hammer. Okay, so if I go back to Raven Rock in the eastmost house, then I could go to the Dawnstar Barracks and then that'll take me to the Brian Hammer, which is outside in Skyrim. And then from there, I could... I'd be willing to fast travel. Okay. Do I have a diagram with connections? I have a notebook with a bunch of names. 
and because I've played so much Skyrim, I know where the major cities are and pretty much like what's what. All right, eastmost house. East, east, eastmost house. Why the heck did I say that? Oh no. Do I mean west? Maybe I meant west. Uh oh. I did write eastmost house. Eastmost house. Uh, I did say house though. It was in the cave. A diagram with the connections would be so messy. Although it would be kind of really funny to have a giant map of Skyrim with a whole bunch of... With like lines going here and here and here and here. I think it'd be easier diagram on draw.io. Only names can be confusing. Uh, I could show you guys a picture of my notebook. Oh no, I feel like a diagram would be more confusing in this case. I just have to not be a dumbass about what I call things. And unfortunately, I think that is what I did here. Okay, I'm a, I am going to try this one. I don't think it's the wretching niche, though. Ash. Doesn't need to be a fancy diagram, only circles with names and lines connecting them. Uh... Okay, this is not it. I did write this one down. I'm pretty sure. Yes. All right, this one goes to the mushroom house, which I don't need. Okay, I'm going to assume that I, I actually meant to write west when I said east. But then again, maybe I am wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. That's back to Aftland, which I do not want to be in right now. Okay. Maybe I did actually mean East then. But which was the East most house? Because I said house. <laughs> Why did I say house? Okay, I'm gonna check out the actual houses. It, it's gotta be an actual house, right? If I wrote house. I'll give you right? Oh, well that is, that is outside. Um, it is a dangerous outside, but it is outside. This is actually a very problematic outside, to be honest. But it does... it does technically work. Did I write it down? I don't think I did. I really want to know which one I meant, though. Mm. 
especially because that is how I get back to the Underforge, which I will need if I want to do any companion stuff. So, back in the cave. My husband Bendel feared visitors. Did I? Did I go to the mine? I didn't actually go to the mine. Oh, let's try that. Sean Raven Rock. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Okay, it's not this one. Looking for any potions? Ingredients? I'll Listen to the blacksmith. It was not the abandoned building. Okay. We'll take a look at the mine, see where that goes. Then probably turn around and go look at the other stuff. Alright, don't murder me, please! Uh, am I underwater? I am underwater. Fort Newgrad Prison. That's not where I want to be. I could easily drown from that one. You know, if you guys need water, you just gotta open up that door. Just saying. Okay, this was the manor. Maybe we'll try that. No, that's just a person's house. I don't think it was this one. It was probably on the bulwark then. Yeah, that's the abandoned building. I don't think it was the temple. Maybe it was. Oh, it was the temple. Okay. Where's the door again? There's the door. Okay. Not Eastmost House, it's the temple. The temple. Raven Rock. Temple. And then apparently that goes to the Dawnstar Barracks. To be this one. Dawnstar Barracks, okay. And then this one has a few I doors. Me the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Raven Rock. I joining up myself. Temple. Okay. And then... Why did I not write which door? Oh, because there's only one door. I thought there were two. What do you need? There are two doors. Dangerous post, Donstar. If the bandits don't get you, the animals will. Your pain can be base because you got the habit of doing mini diagrams, but you believe it really would be more easy. I don't know. Just given how many locations there are and given that they are all randomized. You're that one from the college. Hello, people. I heard about you. Alright, where does this one take me? 
into a cave. A broken cave. Spring Canyon. Okay. So, technically outside... Uh... Okay, we are back in the barracks. Okay, I think this is one that's just gonna be broken. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. So you can cast a few spells. Am I okay. supposed to be impressed? We'll go through here. It may seem like much work, but when you use it, it takes less than five seconds to know everything you need. It's much easier to interpret. Uh, I I kind of doubt that'll really be the case for this one. Just because of how interconnected everything is and how... Just how many points there are. Okay, anyway, three minute break, get up, get a drink, use the restroom, etc, etc. See you in three minutes. Okay, bye! Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Let's try to eat chips. Okay, so Hoimer for testing have Skyrim script extender. 
have that one installed and then have alternate start live another life if you can get those two to work like use those as your very basic testing mods because if those don't work you're screwed Um, and then if you are doing anything like Ordinator. Oh, your game broke even more now? Oh, no. Um, yeah, I think I would probably just start by uninstalling everything. Make sure Skyrim, st Skyrim script extender works. Um, you, you have to have that for almost anything. So you have to make sure you have that. And then I would definitely get alternate start, live another life, along with, um, I think, the regular unofficial mod. I mean, unofficial patch mod. Positive note, you made it into the intro. Yay! Good, 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 good. Here, let me... Oh, no, do you want... Do you want a list of mods that are just like the really good basic ones to have? Here's some black right border now. Oh no. But if you would like, I could I could just send a quick mod list to the Discord for like just the very, very basic ones to have that if you can get those to work, then you should be able to add more in and get them to work with them. I hope if that makes sense. I'm not sure if I'm making sense right now. I'm getting another chip. Well, why not? Okay, cool. I will go ahead and send those then. Give me just a second. Let me pull up my vortex. That way I can just pull up the mod pages. So... Uh, uh, how about general? I'll send it to the general tab. That'll be fine. Okay, so cutting room floor is one that I use all the time. It's not it's not a necessary one, but is one I very much like. Um, also, Hoimer, what version of Skyrim are you using? Are you updated to the lace version? If you are, make sure that when you're downloading mods, you're actually doing the anniversary edition. I know it sounds weird, but just download the anniversary edition ones because that was tripping me up for quite a while. Um, you might not need to fizzes. Do, 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 do. Oh, Sky UI, have to have Sky UI. That one is necessary. I explain some things. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling that's probably your main issue there. Because Anniversary Edition kind of screwed up a lot of stuff. And for quite a while I was out, I was like, well, I'm using I'm using special edition. I should probably be downloading the special edition mods, but no. Um, if you check your actual game version, is probably the anniversary edition, like version if that makes sense i don't know why but yeah just be downloading the anniversary edition ones that might fix your issue okay an official skyrim edition special edition patch it's perfect it's wonderful maybe not perfect but i love it it's fantastic 
And of course, alternate start, live another life. And I'll find the link to Skyrim Script Extender. All right, silver lock. Okay, maybe not general. I'll put it in off topic. Yeah, I think off topic is slightly better. All right, so there's the script extender. And the unofficial patch. It'll pull up on the files tab, but don't worry about that. And then Sky UI is another one that I absolutely require, at least for mine. And then I also very much like cutting room floor. It's not as essential, but... It's basically vanilla content. And you have to, if you're doing modding testing, you basically have to have alternate start. Okay, that should be all of them. Well, all of them, like the most necessary ones. Um, I think I got the dependencies in there. Almost all of them require the unofficial patch anyway. So that should be... You should be good with those. So if you can get those to work, then that'll be a good step towards getting everything else. Uh, for script extender... Uh, yes. Current Anniversary Edition build. 1.6.1130. Yeah. And if you are not entirely sure, you can go to your Steam, go to the game folder, well, game properties. Open up the folder and then look at your actual Skyrim.exe or Skyrim Special edition.exe. It might be skyrimse.exe. I'm sorry, it's slightly confusing. And then if you right click on that and look at properties, then you can go to the version number on there and make sure that it matches. I'm pretty heckin' sure it's 1.6.1130. I'll double check on mine though. I'm pretty sure. Scrim. Yeah, properties, installed files, browse. And then from there, you find your Skyrim SE.exe, hit properties again, and then details, and then product version is what version you're looking for. Yeah, so when in doubt, just go with the Anniversary Edition um, for the mods. Because they should be for that version of the game. Or there'll be like a version behind, but honestly for most of the mods it does not matter. It just... Yeah. Yeah, most of the mods weren't affected by this update. It was just like very core ones that were, which is frustrating. It's the ones that have to do a version check that were affected, really. Okay. Anyway, I hope that helps. Okay, now that I am outside, where am I going again? Okay, I believe I am headed to... No, not that. Minch left. 
And hopefully I won't be bombarded by enemies the moment I get here. I'm going to be bombarded by enemies the moment I get here. Okay, that's cool. Alright, here we go. Wish I had a better way, but... Now the hip bone! Ooh, Ori! I'll take those. Cool! I'll show you what a real Ori can do. I'll beat the snow with your blood. Hi! <gasps> Ow! No one what hit me? Where's my pet? Pet, why did you run away? I did not mean to hit my cat totem there. Very much did not mean to hit my cat totem. Oh gosh darn it, I forgot to put. A right foot! I can make a skelly now! I'll show you a real Come here! Come back here! Just die! Jeez. Ooh! Plus 25 health and magicka, 7 effects restore an additional 2 points per tick. I will happily take that. And a skull. And these. Heck yeah! Oh, hello. Ew. Ow. How dare you. Okay. At least these seem to work fine. Good, 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 good. Yeah, if you had the wrong script extender version, that's probably what was causing your issues. Just because that is kind of the backbone of modding. It'd be cool if I could use that skull. Do I have new loot? Oh, there is new loot. Nice. Bit of a pain that I have to go through here every time, but... Oh well. There's not another good way. Okay, and then I don't think I'll have to fight from here. Oh wait, actually I might. Depends on if the basement is repopulated. Oh, what? Um. Oh no. Steam, what did you do? Steam, what have you done? Steam, I thought I told you to turn cloud saves off. I did turn cloud saves off. I'm even offline right now. It was working fine until I opened up the folder to browse. Why? Why is this happening? Okay. Okay. Well. Well. 
Well, that's bad. Oh, uh, geez. Okay. Mm. What the heck just happened? I am, I'm genuinely confused. What the heck just happened here? Like, it was working. I had my save files. So, I do have two different Steam accounts on this computer. Just one under my streamer name, one under my other username. And... Mo For Skyrim, I had previously been using my streamer one, but... Because... My brother is wanting to play a game on my that is from my regular steam account and so i have family sharing set up i was like okay i'll just be offline it's fine scaram doesn't need to be online it'll be fine unfortunately um steam likes to have the save separated and i don't know if it's trying to do that right now if it did something really heckin weird Oh man, okay. Steam, what the heck did you do? Even if you put Steam offline, the bastard checks it anyway. I believe it. Mm hmm. Oh man. I need to open the file, the game from the file directly and make sure it doesn't make Steam run. Well, the thing is that I open it from the mod manager. Man, okay. I think I might just have to restart the game. Yes, the Steam process is running. Ah, oh, jeez. I just want my saves to be unified. Ah, uh, kill it. I don't think that'll save me at this point, okay? Normally, Steam is fine to have a... Okay, Steam. You must die. I'm going to have to restart my Skyrim. In case of doubt, kill it well, it brought itself back up. Die, Steam. I need you to be down for today. Okay. Well, we're going to see how much... Uh, how much data I lose. Great. I also might have to relaunch Vortex. It's like it was working all day. All day. It, it's been fine. And then it suddenly decides, mm, nah, nah. Oh, thank goodness they're back. Okay. Kind of. I lost all my cat saves. I did make a backup earlier today, though, so... 
Oh man, okay. I do have my other saves though. Oh, kind of. Okay, yeah, Jisha's there. Okay. Okay. Well. Hmm. Well, I made the save back up today just because I knew I was going to be on the other account and has been giving me issues with the saves when I'm swapping accounts. So that's why I made the save back up. There's really only one save of Katara the Extra Unhinged that I really want to keep. And that's just the post randomizer. So it's probably fine. I doubt I'll really want to be reverting anyway, so I'll just see if I can copy the saves back in later. It should be okay. But yeah, that is not ideal. Oh man, wish I could sell that. Okay. Well, oh, back through Golden Glue. Are there people alive again? Oh no, cool, they are dead. Nice. I'm glad they did not respawn. Ooh, but did the save? No. Okay. It's just because I haven't been in here. Or I've been in here too recently. It hasn't hit the reset the reset point yet. Oh no, I'm connecting to chat. Okay, and then I believe it is the upper ladder. Uh, this one probably hasn't reset yet either, which is good. Oh, more skulls. I need those. Kind of. Never mind, it won't let me. That's, that's cool. It's fine. Do you have anything? No. Okay, well... That was frustrating, but... We're back! We cannot afford to act rashly in times like these. What What's the you meaning of this interruption? Nothing? Your Bye. is not My receiving Lord, visitors. This is no time I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. I Come just... on then. The Jarl will want to speak Who to you first. This, well, they didn't really let me in. I kind of uh, burst in on my own, so but you know. You such is the curse. Dragon with your own eyes? Uh, dragon destroyed Helgen. Last I saw it was heading this way. Yeah. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? I mean, eat it Shall cheap. we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not- Enough! I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people! Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. 
Sir, you say my particular talents, but I don't think you understand what kind of predicament I'm in. It's very hard for me to go into a specific place. Okay, oh wait, are you following me? Eh, whatever. Stop. Can I buy some more spells from you? Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon. Why am I hearing a sound on my right? Oh. I've been wearing my headphones backwards all day, and I didn't notice. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Well that explains why the sound has been coming from the wrong side. Well, when I say fetch, uh. I mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. I guess simplicity itself. If, oh, if it wasn't for my curse. My curse of making it so all the doors are random. I go through one and pop out somewhere completely different. Uh, I don't care about all that. We got for sale. I very much want Okado's recital. I need it. Oh wait. I almost forgot something very important. Just a close. Wow, prior... is the best anything we can use oh, to fight this dragon. So you wish to master the arcane art as quickly. Or it's too late. I'm being very rude to Walgriff. It's okay. He doesn't actually need people to pay attention to him. Okay, I already have power of the master. Uh, prepare for adventure could be useful, but it's probably best if I don't actually get it. Okay, so... With Akato's recital... I already have, um, I have stone flesh, so that is going in there, and then I want to find other spells in here. That would just be very good. Just good to have at the start of a fight. Like Charles Blood, it could be good. It's... Oh no, it's okay. I mean, health regen isn't very much. If it just increased my overall healing, that'd be one thing, but... Plot steel, I don't care. Okay, stone flesh is what I already have. Um... I don't think spider touch would be very good if it was enemies in melee range and if it wasn't a concentration spell it'd be good. I could go with soul cloak at the same time though there's a really good way to accidentally fill like good gems with crappy souls unfortunately. Uh, Slowfall I very much like. I'm not doing blocks. Rhinos' fins. Eh. Hmm. I'm not 
really see many good ones. Uh, maybe Mystic Wind for 10 seconds restore 5 points of magicka per second while the caster is sprinting. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Ooh, Muffle. 75% more quiet. Well, okay, except I already have boots that do that for me. So... I don't need a ward. Don't really need leech seed. Yeah, I'm just not seeing much good. Ghost walk fury. Hmm. Could just go with the East Bird and pick up everything. I don't think I actually want that though. Yeah. I just don't think I really want anything. Well, I'm just not seeing anything else that's really good. I think Circle of Strength is not a self-cast one. I do think I should probably get Azura Reconstruction. Just because then I can keep my Construct up and fighting. Or my minion. Ooh, I should definitely get Atronach Mark. That'd be really good. Ultra Body I don't care about. I wonder why King Edward is worth so much. Okay, I will take Atronach Mark. I'm not really finding much else that's really good for self-casting. Not right now anyway. But I will take that. I will take, I think just Featherfall. I like Drop Zone, but I think Featherfall is just a bit better. Or Slowfall? What was it called? Was it Slowfall? It, it is Slowfall. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's change the screwing it up. Okay, let me learn those. Until next time. Mikado's recital, I think it's yeah, alteration. Oh wait, no, it's only oak flesh I know. I should definitely get stone flesh then. What are you still doing here? Spells and incantations for those with Stone flesh, yet? please. Although, wait, okay, before I do that. Alteration. Okay, the first one only gives oak flesh. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that then. Yeah. A second alteration mastery probably gives stone flesh. I mean that the spells lasting longer per level of alteration is very tempting. However, okay, not reanimated. Is it that one? Hmm. Okay, it's Atromancy that I really want. 
or Edge of Oblivion. I do really like Edge of Oblivion. Okay. Oh. I gotta go with Plain Meld. I do like Plain Meld. Ooh. Or Dead Tide. Well, I actually need to make some skeletons first before I do that. I know I got Bone Collector, but I actually might go for more summons rather than Skelly Army, just because Skeleton Armies get in the way so badly. Okay, well, I was trying to check if I was going to get Stone Flesh, and I will just go ahead and buy it. That is what I was checking. Stone flesh. Beautiful. Okay. Any other good long range spells I should take? Hmm. Simu or simulacrum. Oh wait, I already have it. Never mind. I just forget to use it. Okay, and I think I will take I already have power of the master. Necroplague does sound fun. Um, not mage light. I do like long stride. Just because then I can get places faster and level my alteration at the same time. But that one is a bit of a... Like, well, it's fine. Hush. I do like hush. Oh, uh, I guess healing hands is important. I want to make sure I get the one that I can use to heal my pets. Entropic life? Yes, that is it. Okay. I don't have enough gold. Never mind. Okay, well, uh, so much for that. I spent too much. That's okay, though. Healing hands, hush, and stone flesh. I'm sure she will prove most useful. Will I? And you'll be rewarded. Will I though? Will, be in your debt. will I really oh, be useful? I, you were on your way to Bleak Fall Sparrow. I can't get to Bleak Fall Sparrow, man. There's no way for me to get there that I know of. I mean, I'm sure there's a way, maybe even two, but. Doesn't mean I know how to get there. Alright, black mage rooms. Oh, uh, Circle of the Dragon's cool. I think I'm just going to unenchant Circle of Triumph. Uh, maybe. Maybe same for the dragon. Who knows how long it'll be until I actually get shouts. Yeah. Okay, I do like that Dwarven Battle Axe. Ooh, actually, that'd be really good to give to a Skelly. Uh, back right, front right. Which one do I have equipped? I have one that's equipped. I don't know which one. Okay, the Resist Shock. I will enchant that. Oh. Back right. Okay, cool. Yoink. Novice hood. I think I'm wearing that right now. I don't want to get rid of it. We have looting. I'm wearing that. Steel battle, Steel battle axe of fiery souls. 
It's cool, but I'm not going to use it. So, learn. Okay. Oh, only 15 points. That's oh, that's not very I good. You were already on your way to Bleak Falls Barrow. Dude, shut up. Ooh, sure would be nice if I could put Fortify Magica region on that. Could I put it on? Ooh, earrings. I mean, oh. Yikes, only 1%. Never mind. That's not worth it. Petty soul gem, not worth. Is there anything nice back here? No? Okay, bye. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Falls Barrow. Okay, what was through this way? We'll find out. I can't remember if it was a dead end. Or or if it was just like, uh, I don't want to fight my way through here. I think it was a, I don't want to fight my way through here. Perfect. Okay, I think destruction, I'm going to get dual casting. Oh, yes, that and dual casting. Okay, done. Darn, not enough magic. Wait, come back! <gasps> Ow. Ah! I don't wanna die! Don't let me die! I'll go ahead and just chug that. Oh, you know... Ow. No, I'm out. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to set up Okado's Recycle. That's a mistake. That's very much a mistake. Okay, I'm getting another chip while my man recovers. Let me make sure I'm actually wearing my... my robes. Okay, that'll help too. Okay. Spell Storm. That was Stone Flesh. I'll, I guess I'll go ahead and put Slow Fall on there too. I don't think there's any reason not to. Okay. And that should be it for those. Uh, Stone Flesh, I'll put that back on seven. Power of the Master stays on six. I should probably just get rid of reanimate lesser corpse. I'm not using it at all. But oh well. I didn't get any new summons, did I? No, not really. Um. I'm 
Tropic Life. I think I'll put that on... I'll put that on four. Oh, unfavorite lesser corpse. Okay. Save one more time. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he was waiting for me. <laughs> I feel like I should have expected that, but ow. Oh, wait. He's gone this time? Alright, I'm assuming that the green is slow fall, is what I'm seeing here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She dead. She dead. She dead. She dead. <gasps> oh. Yeah, no. Oh, such a bad spot. I think I need to summon her out further into the corridor. But my face, my face hurts. Okay. I'll save over that. And while my man is regenerating, never mind, my mana isn't regenerating. This is fine. Okay, death counter. That's up to six. And then they're gone again. I don't... I do not understand. Okay. It's one dead. Oh. I almost forgot power of the master. <gasps> and a devastation! Plus three health and magicka. I will happily... Take that. Yes. Yes, whale cream. Thank you. Thank you for the, um... I don't know. Oh wait, amulet! Thank you for the encouragement, guys. The whale cream encouragement. I appreciate it. Can I have two rings? No. I only have one. Which sucks, but oh well. Did I hit him? I did. <laughs> no, no, chewing through there is not gonna work. You got this, my pets. You got this. Yeah. Good job. Pet, 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 pet. It's rude. Oh man, she had to kill so many. Just everyone. <gasps> Long stride. I'm so glad I didn't buy that now. Did 
that? Who did that? Where's my girl? What the heck? Ah. They shouldn't come back. That's that's ridiculous, that's mean. Just not like that. Girl, why are you running away? You are my face tank, my shield. Why am I missing? Okay, if nothing else, I am just taking these off of him. And I'm putting them in the chest. Because I don't want them, but I don't want him to have them either. It's awful. I want to finish looting though. I don't want them to get back up. <laughs> oh gosh, I got a piece of chip stuck in my throat. Revenge of the chip. Okay, that's where I came from. Okay, rest the stronger are fine. Those are normal. It's those horrible, like, re rest the skeleton guys. Man. Flamer, I hope your modding is going well. Or at least better than it was. Okay. Restless ancient skeleton. That's what I need to look out for. Are there two doors? There are two doors. Uh, right after installing some mods, it broke again. Oh no. That sucks. I'm sorry, I wish I had more advice. Oh, where is this? Baldor Iron Shaper's house. Oh, but there is a second. There's a second door. Can I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I required them. Kind of. I'm really trying not to rely on archery, but you know. You do what you must. And we're in a cave! Okay. Oh! Oh! Runefold! Okay, so this is another kind of quest area. Okay, girl. I believe in you. Just a scratch. Come on, let me get shot in. Oh well. This is fine. I might remove slow fall. 
from my spell list. Ow! That hurt. That hurt quite a bit. Okay, well, it is time for our three minute break once again. <gasps> no! Who keeps hitting me? I don't have a safe spot to sit. Dude, attack. Attack my cat. Attack my saber cat. Why is she not doing anything? my face okay after I kill this guy I'll switch to an ad break we'll be starting here momentarily anyway but it's so rude gosh she just just attacks my face like that okay anyway ad break will be starting here soon it'll probably be like another half minute okay you've been not as much help as you should I mean, you've, you've been good help, Pat Pat, but also, like, come on. Come on, you're supposed to attack them in the face. Seriously. What do I even summon her for? Oh. There we go. Okay, I'll just go ahead and start it slightly early, I guess. It'll probably be transitioning anytime. Whee! Oh my gosh, Waymer, go get some sleep. You definitely need more than two hours. Go sleep. Okay, well, thanks for coming. Bye!
Pop, 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 pop. Okay. Blake Falls Barrow. It's just not happening. It's just, it won't. I'm very curious if he'll actually point to say anything. I don't think it will. I don't think it's capable of that. Okay, Emil of Stendar. Da, 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 uh, that's worthwhile. I'm probably gonna need to pick a body and use that for storage. I don't remember if I had one already. Oh, nice skull. Journal Discovering Rune Vault, Volume 1. By Morik Sidri. I've decided to document our expedition to find Rune Vault in my journals, with hopes that, should we fail, it will bring illumination to those who follow us. I myself have stood on the shoulders of academic giants to get where we are today, spending endless hours in libraries and private collections. I am certain that there is some artifact of great power to be found in these ruins, one that the vigilants could find useful in their mission. I do not mean to sound, pro to sound pompous, but I feel as if I am on the precipice of my destiny with this quest. I am certain we are digging in the right place. I can feel it in my bones, and I dream of finding Runevald at night. Even in my waking hours, I can almost hear a reassuring voice telling me we are going the right way. The expedition has had a great deal of luck so far. After only a few weeks, the first home broke through into a large shaft, leading downwards towards where I suspect to find Runevald. With just a few bits of carpentry, we've established our first base camp within the mountains. If we continue to be this fortuitous, we shall reach our goal in record time! M. Sydney. Okay, so I think it was when I was playing solo, I found this place as well. However, it was a later section, so I do not think that we will be able to find a whole lot. At least not in this part. Nice, nice. Take the ingots and everything else. Uh, okay, all these are kind of garbage. Gotta keep her buffs up. Anything? Oh, oh, person, person. Is someone there? Can I get a sneak shot? Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh no, I got- I hit my cat. I'm sorry, cat. I will... Oh wait, shoot, I didn't. Oops. Oh well. Healing hands! Heal. Yeah, she does she does good damage she's just kind of a coward which is not great for a summon ah, please please i need through okay thank you it's another hip bone manifesto cyrodiil vampirum Okay, we have not read all of these yet, but that's okay. Manifesto Cyrodiil Vampirum. Manifesto Cyrodiil Vampirum. To you whom we have been seen. To whom? To you whom we have seen. Why was that so hard for me to read? Stalking at night by Ice Keen. Transcendence of savages. See, sating thirst sans avarice. Your coffers stay stuffed. My social grace is robust. None know your nature, save us. None share your fate, save us. None welcome you as kin, save us. On our order, know first that we are no simple tribe of savages, tearing throats with our org 
orgiastic abandon of our scattered tribal brethren. Ours is a civil, civil fraternity to which we are bound, every one by our dual hunger for flesh and influence, by the virtue of imperial structure and bu bureaucracy. Cyrodiil has become our stronghold in the Third Era, and we suffer no savage rivals within our boundaries, reveal ourselves to none, and manipulate the hands of society to meet out our agendas. On our dual patrons. To Ken Father Molag Bal, who brought forth the blood matron Laman to spite our K, we owe our existence as dual vampires, though not all honor him. For him, for him we revel in the feast and acknowledge the gift to drift in our veins. The patron Clavicus Vile, beacon our, over our affairs, we owe our successes and social stature. Our bonds with Vile makes us unique among our kind, for his guidance steals our savage craving with reason and savvy. For him we live amongst mankind, and twist them to our will from offices of power. On our rivals, most barbaric tribes think themselves powerful by the gift of Baal's blood alone, and squander the gift. There are those, however, who show signs of enlightenment and earn our attention. Those such as Glenmore Word, who live within the walls of Breton cities, or the wet things Sola Sodality of the Black Marsh, who use magicka to keep captives catatonic and harvest from them the red nectar. These foes may one day threaten to impong our, so our sovereignty within the boundaries of Cyrodiil, thus compelling our vigilance. Should any encroach upon our dominion, our wrath must be swift and total on our contract. To preserve our ideals and way of life, two primary edicts shall be observed. Above all, reveal thyself and our order to no other, for discretion is the greatest of our virtues. Do not feed where you may be found out, or on those who may suspect your passing. Avoid daylight by lifestyle, dispel common belief in our kind, and maintain supple appearance through satisfaction of the thirst through satisfaction of the thirst. Se second, devote your pursuits to the procurement of influence, political and otherwise. Our strength is not in physical numbers, but in skillful manipulation of society. Always be mindful of our patrons, and preserve the order. Devote yourself to these ideals always, and the order shall count you amongst our own. All right, any vampires here who like that advice? I mean, it seems pretty decent, you know? Oh. All right, she's about time out. I want to resummon her. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Gosh, heckin'. I was hoping. Okay. Well, that's good enough, I suppose. I'm glad he kind of killed himself. Uh, Malachite ore. I don't really care. Maybe I should, but I don't. Ooh, shinies. Ore is just so heavy. Oh man, there's so many people here. Hehehe. Good old sneak attacks. Burial? Eh. I don't have ice spike key to anything. Maybe I'll put on. Maybe I'll put on eight. I ow. Don't hit me. What the heck? What the heck was that barrier? All right, I need my pet. Um, okay. 
good enough. Oh, nice! I got the killing blow with the bow. Okay. More bolts. Ooh, right hand. We did. We did have one of those, right? Okay, I very much need to find a corpse to stow. I'm not gonna have enough room. Ooh, Vampires of Vardenfell, Volume 2. I don't have Volume 1, though, so I'd rather wait to read that. Okay, well, I'm gonna need to pull out the Dead Eye Captain, then. really don't care which one, so... Just go ahead and summon the captain. Alright, I don't think I have a body stored. I'm just double check. I know how to do this. Okay, and then all I have to do is just select the guy. Dredge up the corpse. And then search him. And then we'll just put some stuff. Wow, I have Balgraf's greatsword. I really don't want that, but I also don't really want to get rid of it. Cause yeah. Yeah. It's it's bad. I have a hoarding problem. Oh, I have stuff with the familiar. I need to remember that. I really need to remember I have that. It's actually pretty important <laughs> when I run out of mana like that. Same with the stuff of reanimation. Uh. Oh. Oh, right, I was supposed to deliver that great sword. I forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot I was supposed to deliver that. Oh, the crossbow does a lot more damage. But it does also take longer. Uh, however, I'll put the regular bow away. Actually, never mind. Unfavorite that. Give me my bow back. Okay, there's a lot of amulets of Stendar. I really want to just put very heavy things in here. Just like stuff to sell. Like even the capes. I think they're good, but it does add up. Ah, and so many potions. I have a hard time putting potions away, though. Okay, ale, mead, wine. More wine. You think that's just drinkables? It's not worth keeping. Not keeping on me. Okay, I could store my corpse bits in there. Goblets, goblets, plates, urn, worker tusk, ingots. Even if I accidentally lose the ingots, oh well. So be it. It's unfortunate, but so be it. Okay. I mean, it's not... it's probably not as much as I should store, but it should be okay for now, right? Maybe I should put the... the human bits away. 
or some books. I don't want to lose my books though. Okay, I do think that's okay for now though. Oh wow, those amulets are actually pretty heavy. I'll put the mace away. If I need to, I can use the battle axe. But I don't think I will, so... Okay. Preserve. Thank you, my captain. Okay, and now we summon the cat, because she's just better in combat. Okay. How many more people... Hello, doggo. I will take that steel bolt. I'm sorry you got hit by your own people. Potions of stamina, because they've just been digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging for a long time. I'll go ahead and just take the ore. Uh, so the story of this place is that some entity is in in the city of Runevold. Here we go, volume two. Our luck continues. Not only do we continue to tunnel into caves and shafts that speed our descent, but struck multiple veins of precious ore. Now that the excavation has proven to be a financial success, the vigilants have sent more supplies, materials, and workers to further the cause. I find myself unable to contain my glee at times. I've become prone to cheerful outbursts from the men. One may find this very out of character for me, but the men seem to share my enthusiasm. Never before have I worked with a group so single-minded in their pursuit. To have so many people working towards the same goal with little to no deviation from the task at hand is an uncanny blessing. Stendar be praised. With so much going well, I hesitate to document what seem like minor troubles in comparison. It must have something to do with the cramped spaces, but I found myself prone to aches in my head. While these hardly deter me from my leadership role, I have found myself distracted at times. I have had many conversations with the workers where I drift off only to have them call me back to reality. Sometimes I lose small amounts of time and can't remember what I've done. I am hoping this is nothing more than excitement of reaching our goal, but I will try to keep note as we dig deeper. Perhaps a half tankard of ale before sleep will help me with these headaches. Sincerely, M. Sidney. Sidri. So, you know what? Maybe, maybe we will get to read all of these. Then you guys can learn the story of this place. This very sad, sad place. Uh, yes, Flo, I have played Genshin. I have played more Genshin than I would like to admit, and I am never going back. I got myself out. I'm not going back. I just, I don't, I don't want to. The grind was too much. Yeah, honestly, the grind was too much. And the constant focus on, oh no, she's going to despawn on me. Um... The lore being stuck behind events that are limited time kind of killed me. Did you read all the books there? No, I did not. I know. How dare I? But no, I didn't. Why did I take the dog meat? Now, don't go after me. Ow. Die. Die to fire. I might need to install violence just so I can turn off the, the cutscenes. Yeah, that part of Important Lord being temporarily available and then gone forever is really dumb from them. It really is. And that's a big part of why I just can't go back. Because I did enjoy the gameplay. 
I liked my build. Um, up until the most recent Archon, the Water Archon, I did actually have all the Archons. So I had Fenty, Zongli, um, I can't remember her name right now. The purple lady, I don't know why her name is blinking on me. And then I also had Nahida. Or Nadia, whatever. However that's actually pronounced. Oh no. Oh no, my bow. My bow's not on one anymore. Right, right, the right in Shogun. Yeah. Yep, and I was a clean main because I got her very early on and I liked her quite a lot. Yes, I did get very far and I started very early on and that's why I can't go back. <laughs> I, I can't. It's just not not possible for me to do that. Okay. I do want to take all those. But dis discovering Rune Vault. Volume 3 by Morik Sidri. The damnable headaches. Uh, Menorn be merciful. I just can't seem to shake them. The workers of search report them as well, but while their focus on great conversation and civility may wane because of it, they have not swayed from their task. If anything, they seem to have doubled their efforts. I myself cannot seem to focus on anything other than the dig. I sit here now studying some unearthed Nordic artifacts, yet I feel a nagging call to see how the dig is progressing. The other day, without thinking, I picked up a shovel and started digging myself. Fortunately, no one seemed to find this unusual, which is a blessing. I hate for the vigilance of Minorn to think that I've lost my senses. As we dig, we uncover more Nordic ruins and architecture, but have yet to hit the main chamber. Every day I dream we'll finally reach Runevold, and I can't help but reflect on what this will mean to my reputation. My family will be so proud, especially my father Minorn. He and mother have always been interested in my studies, even if my sister Minorn was not. But I'm most excited to reveal my findings to my colleagues Minorn and Minorn, and perhaps my mentor Minorn. Oh, won't they all be pleased? Loved and Sydney. Or Sidri. People say the Sorg is really good in Sumeru, so you got curious. Oh no, Sumeru is actually really where I lost interest. But I was getting. I was getting quite tired of just the grind, and I had taken a break. I'll read these later. Unfortunately, they are all labeled as red now. I'll just have to go through and read them later. I'm probably just going to have like a full on reading stream. At first, I was like, oh, I'm just going to read these as I find them, but eh. Uh, what grinding were you doing? Artifacts. Freaking artifacts. And also just the dailies. The dailies just got so boring to me. I also had a friend who was, is still really into it. I mean, not that she considers me a friend anymore, but you know. Things happen. Um... But yeah, I had a friend who was really, really into Genshin. And honestly, just so that I had something to do with her was the main reason why I really stuck with it for as long as I did. I think I quit Genshin like pretty soon, either before or after I started streaming. I'm trying to remember exactly when I did, but... It has been quite a while since I played. Uh, not a friend anymore. That is her choice, not mine. Um, so unfortunately, that story has a lot of baggage. Uh, 
I don't think I should get too far into it right now. Um, just because it is a very depressing story. But basically, she's in a very abusive relationship and her husband, of whom I loathe, has convinced her that I and the friend's sister are the problem. Because we are trying to convince her that, hey, maybe you shouldn't be with the guy who beats you up. Gee. So, yeah. Oh, I should not be attached. Oh, darn it. I need to be ready to resummon her. Whee! But yeah, um, the last time I tried to talk to her, he responded and blocked me on her Facebook, which was the main way of communicating with her. And then when I tried texting her directly, he's the one that responded. So ain't that great. <laughs> yeah, those situations are really hard when someone doesn't want to be safe. There's much you can do. Yep. Yep. So anyway, I've decided I'm not going to give a crap anymore. Unless she actually decides to reach out. Occasionally I will send her a text or like something. Like when Christmas happens, I'll send her a Merry Christmas text. I'll see if I get any response, but... Yeah. And for a while I wasn't even sure if she was alive. As sad as that is, but it's true. We honestly didn't know if she was properly alive or if, oh, or if Point of Sale had, had just been acting as if she were, ah, run. But I did see her last Sunday, so I know she is physically able to move. <laughs> uh, it's so terrible. Hello, can you, can you die, please? I would really like for you guys to die. Ah, uh, jeez. You know what, I'm using the level just so I get mana back. Does she at least seem happy? Uh, she's very good at playing on an act. Oh my gosh, okay. Ow. My face. She has convinced herself that she's happy. Um, but... She has major mental issues, so she kind of does this up and down thing where she will pretend that she's happy and then call her sister and be like, Oh, sissy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. Everything's horrible. He said he'd leave me again. I'm, I'm worthless. Nobody loves me. Nobody will ever love me. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's so much fun being on the receiving end of all this. Yeah, I just, I don't want to get involved anymore, frankly. She can deal with her shitty husband all on her own. Unless she actually asks for help. I have been here multiple times and she has... Yeah, she's used me as a safety net multiple times. It's not fun. It's not fun. Me and her sister, we are the two people she was closest with. And she basically spat in our faces, said, I don't need you, your help isn't helping. How dare you tell me that, that my love for him is wrong. 
that I should give up on this man who has been abusing me for many years. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to start ranting about this, so um yeah, I'm I'm sorry. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, trauma dumping. Woo! <laughs> uh Oh right, we got onto this because of Genshin. Yeah, honestly, that's probably another reason why I just do not want to ever go back to Genshin because it'll just remind me of her. It's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't want it. I don't need it. fell off. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, darn it. Stay put. Now, maybe I should get the perk that lets me summon them further away. Because I could summon somebody down there. Let's just go Magicka again. Conjuration. I think Play Meld. Yes. Okay. Uh, for me, don't need to say sorry. Don't want to be rude, but I was just thinking how common that situation is. It is unfortunately very common. It doesn't help that she also grew up in a very abusive household, so abusive relationships are kind of all she knows. Uh, same with her sister. But luckily, her sister has gotten herself out of it. And the two of us are still friends. But it's just... Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing's a mess. And then the absolute worst part is that the friend in the abusive situation. Ah, uh, when Owl moved. We didn't know this at the time, but they live right next to Owl. And it's horrible. <laughs> but anyway, that's how I saw her, because it's like, oh, hey, I saw them crossing the street. Wow. Yeah, so that's that's a thing. Ain't that fun? I think I'm oversharing at this point. <laughs> oh, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> It really sucks having them so close by, because it's like, I just, I do not want them around. I don't want to think about them. And she knows, but hopefully he still doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's a freaking disaster. Yeah, go Matronok! Woo! Yeah! Okay, plane milled. Good, good perk. You know, could have just gone down those ramps, but okay. You really like full on magic? I do like full on magic. Honestly, the these games, they're really what got me into playing as a mage in general. I feel like this is trapped. I don't think it is, but it kind of feels like it. Oh, jeez. Um, especially Oblivion is really what got me into it at the start. But the Elder Scrolls games in general are like magic? Blowing people up with fireballs? Summoning a bunch of minions to do my bidding? Oh, boy! But yeah, I like magic builds. I remember trying to do the same, but got annoying waiting for mana, decided to go hybrid. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I just know that I am generally a more patient player than a lot of people. 
maybe you call that stubbornness. But regardless. You know what? I'm gonna just go with Flame Atronach for now. Oh. <laughs> Let's call it that, yes. What, patience? Yeah, I think patience is really good too. I'm so glad you agree, Flo. Oh. Come in. Do 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 do. Anything but down here? Actually, where's that corpse? There should be a corpse down here. There she is! Yeah, I'll take all of it. Why not? Okay, and I think this is a loading screen door. Yeah. All right. That was a little bit of a journey. Where to next? Okay, that's, that's cool. Okay. Where are we? My gate ruins. I am not familiar with this one. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put Contra Flame Atronach on six. Power of the Master on seven. Seven. And Stoneflesh on eight. I should probably just redo my key bindings. Okay, Flame Atronach does actually resummon properly, so that's great. Okay. Now, Mr. Draugr. Oh? Uh, where? Where are you? Sir? Sir, where are you going? Okay. I mean, that's fine, I guess. I'll just hit you with an ice spike instead. Oh, and I missed. Okay. I don't know why I find that so funny. Just a flame Adronach just going down the stairs. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Eee. Anything under the stairs? No. Very sad. Maybe he was just trying to group up with his friends. Because there's another one right there. spells. They're very simple, but I like them. I think I'm gonna need to dredge up my corpse here soon. Oh, more than soon. I am at max carry capacity. <laughs> okay, let's do it up here. That way I don't get interrupted. Um, okay, he is not... Favorited. I should favorite him though. 
Can I get my corpse back, please? Actually, before I do that... Just because sometimes the corpse doesn't really appear properly. So, if you're not careful, you can accidentally lose the corpse. Which is not great. Okay. Ancient Nord Bow, Steel Mace... Oh, actually... Wait, damage 10. Oh, 16 on that bow. Nice. I'll put that one away. Take that one. Oh yeah, and Genshin, oh, you also did almost a year pause because of playing it too much, too much grinding, like you said. Yeah. Yeah, it's a major issue with that game. Now you decide to keep your word at level 5 and not advance your AR. That way you can play with the characters you want without having to grind them to a decent level. Oh. That's an interesting way of doing it. Um, I definitely took my... I hit... Oh, what's the max again? Is it 60? 40? Is it 40? Uh, whatever. Whatever the max um, rank level, whatever it was, I hit that. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Is it actually rank? I'm not talking about level cap, I'm talking about actual rank. Is it 60? Adventure rank, that's what it is, yeah. Put these away. I'm mostly just trying to put away the heavy stuff, but I did put away some stuff that is very valuable. Now I should start using my poisons. I'll keep the food on me. Keep the books. Be in a jar. Uh, okay, that should be good enough for now. All right, preserve. I can't wait till I have deep storage. Uh, you were doing that, but then you notice you need to farm everything again every time you want to use a character. Yeah. Yeah. I get what you're saying. I definitely get what you're saying. Items. I need my bow. Okay, I did actually favorite it. Okay. Well, there's the guy down there. Oh gosh, trying I missed. <gasps> There we go. I think part of what burnt me out too was the spiral abyss and just being like, well, well, you know, I could, I could do this, but I don't know. I just, ugh. I just didn't like it. Yeah, I think just in general, I didn't care for the spiral abyss and it really felt like that was the end game content. And also just whenever I got on to play, it'd be like, oh, there's there's a festival where oh there's dailies. You need to you need to grind these. It's like, but what if I just want to play story? No, no! Your FOMO won't let you. What am I looking at? Alright, I got a book. Two books. Nice. It's too bad you can only decrease your world level one at a time. Imagine for your world, characters need a uh, 80-85 minimum. Yeah. Yeah, I pretty much tried to get my people up to 80. Um, 
and then out. She stepped on the pressure plate. Gonna die because of my stupid summon. Am I still poisoned? I am. I'm gonna wait for her to time out. I take okay, I take my arrow back. Hi! Guy friends? You're still a floor four of the abyss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um I never actually cleared uh I never actually cleared floor twelve. I got close once or twice, but I just didn't really want to spend the time grinding like perfect artifacts and like getting everybody up to level 90. And I didn't want to use meta builds. Oh gosh, stop it! Stop pressing! Stop the pressure plate, please! Please stop! You're killing me! the bad part of having minions. They are very stupid. Oh. He was like that, but now you're screwed. Do whatever you want. I understand. Yeah, I was I was kind of able to do that for like a week. And then it was like, oh, but 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 stuff. But there's stuff. But there's stuff. Oh, I'm not gonna get the stuff if I don't do this, this, and this, and... At that point, I was like, no, I just... I have to quit this game. I have to. Uh, you only did that for one character, and it isn't even close to perfect. Having to grind again, no thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's unpleasant. Money, 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 money. And another pressure plate. And another dragger. Die. <laughs> oh, he got stopped by his own pressure plates. Perish, please. I don't like that there's all the smoke effects with the spell. Oh. Makes it a little difficult to see what I'm doing. Oh, 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 oh. Ha! Okay. Good stuff. And nothing. Okay. That's normal, I guess. I don't want cabbages. Oh, there was the gold. Okay. Yeah, just the grinding is... just... it's just too bad in that game. It's such a shame because I feel like the free-to-play model did a huge disservice to what Genshin could have been. Because just imagine that it was a just $60, $60 game and as you got through character's story, story missions, you got to use that character. And then you didn't have to do all the... Um, One second. And then also if you just didn't have to do all the artifact grinding, because I think that's a huge disservice to the game as well. I don't know, it's just it has such a good core, but just the live service free-to-play model is just so bad for it. Alright, do you guys want to burst open and try and murder me? No. 
Why not? I got my minion up right now. Yeah, unfortunately it is gotcha. That is the curse. And unfortunately also that they make way, way, way more money doing that than selling it at just... Yeah, than just selling it. It is... It's just the curse of modern gaming. And that's why I'm playing Ancient Skyrim. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do when I hit dragon doors. Please don't step on those. Please do not step on those. She did step on some. Oh, I'll get stabbed if I stay here. Okay, we're good. Yo, know, why didn't those guys pop open? They really should have. Okay. I've definitely been in this tomb before. Not this playthrough, but just in general. Oh, it's an overlord. Okay. This could be problematic. Oh, luckily he's dying. Nice. I was expecting that to be worse. Too bad main game companies are screwing many things. Yep. Yeah. Hello, sir. <laughs> if you try to... Yep, I'm out. I'm out! You walk through... Do you want to walk through the minefield with me? I bet you do! Come on! Come on, friend! I'm sure you'll have a great time! Oh, except she's the one getting stabbed. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Like Blizzard thinking about descending a DLC for Diablo 4 with the price of almost the game itself. Oh gosh. I mean, Diablo 4 isn't even very old. And they're already... Well... One, it's, it's still a very new game. Two, it's not even a good game. And three, it already has incredibly predatory microtransactions. And yet, and yet they're still like, oh, we need DLC for this. It's just, it's just awful. Oh, oh, he's almost dead. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to die if I stay right there, though. Ah! Ah! Come here. Stop on the pressure plate. I dare you. Please die, please die, please die. Yay! Did he land on pressure plate? Okay. Just the fact the collector's edition you think cost so much and didn't even have the game include. It didn't even have the game included? Really? For the collector's edition of the game. 
I didn't have the game. That's... That's just ridiculous. Gosh. Freaking blizzard. Okay, anyway, it is time once again for our three-minute break, so get up, get a drink, use the restroom, do whatever you need to do. I will see you guys again in three minutes. Boop -boop. So, just for my own sanity check, I did have to look it up. And yeah! Yeah, Diablo 4, Collector's Edition. Did not come with the game itself. It was being sold for $97. And now, scalpers are selling it for $144, $150. Oh man, but there's a pre-owned one for only 60 bucks. Ain't that a steal? But almost a hundred dollars and doesn't even come with the game. Wasn't Diablo 4 how much how much was that one anyway? Let's see, Diablo for purchase. 
Yeah, $70. Okay, I kind of thought it was, but I want to double check. Yeah, the game itself is $70. And then their collector's edition was even... My freaking goodness, it's just... It's crazy. And then Ultimate Edition is just a flat $100. Yeah, that's what tricked me. People people looked at the price and thought the game was included. Yeah. Yeah. If I saw a collector's edition that expensive, I would assume the game was included too, but jeez. And then there's also the microtransactions. The microtransactions that aren't very micro. Oh man. It's just so depressing, honestly. Uh, okay. Ooh, Spellbinder Runic Helmet. Those are really pretty. That looks nice. I don't care. Yep. Look at the price. I don't care. Blizzard nowadays seem doomed. Or seems doomed. Yeah. Ah, uh, Pain. Ah, gosh darn it. Oh gosh, okay. I'm gonna break a few picks on this one. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. And I agree. Endless Blizzard change, changes their ways. Their reputation as a company is completely doomed. Unfortunately, they're still... Oh no, this is just a dragon priest. Oh, this is just a dragon priest. Okay. Okay. Um, I got I got an anti-mage spell. I need to pull it up. Hush. It's hush. Ow. Ow. Oh my face. Oh my face. Midori is the problem, our fanboys with money. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we can hope that the fanboys will learn, but... Yeah. Yeah. Uh... I don't think I want... I don't think I want signed in blood. Okay, I don't know which one I want, so... No more magicka for you. Ow, ow, oh. <laughs> ow, my face. <laughs> uh, Dragon Priest fights are not pleasant. Okay. Gotta update the death count. Up to seven because of Mr. Dragon Priest. The reverse 1999? No. I have not heard of that. 
You know what? Let's go with kitty cat this time. This, it's a game. I have not heard of it. Uh -huh. Good thing here, the story's really good. Ooh, nice. I went too far for Master Lock. Okay, cool. Got through. Bad thing, it's gotcha. Well... No, no, no. Hush. Hush. Ah! No! Don't kill me! 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 I really just do not want to touch another gotcha game, frankly. I just... I have no desire for it. Oh my gosh, I keep missing. Magica, and potion Magica, Conjure, Cat Totem. No, no, no magic for you. Ah, I almost died there. Ready regeneration. Healing, healing, minor healing. Gincher really took a toll on me. Yes, yes, it did. It really did. I'm not gonna pretend it didn't because it did. Oh, I should not mark. That could be good for this fight. Uh, probably won't work on that. I could try Doppelganger. It costs 99 though. I don't think I have that much mana right now. Okay, now I do. Oh man, where is he? Oh, I died. I don't even know why I got hit by. Oh, I was free to play. I was 100% free to play. Yeah, no, my friend, she... She caved. But, no, I was 100% free to play. Because I ran the numbers and I saw it was gonna cost over $200. Oh, death counter. Right. This guy's brutal. So I looked and I saw that it was going to be $200 to get a five star. And that's if you use Woken, which is the cheapest method. And I'm like, mm -mm, I, ain't, I ain't about that. That's just, that's not okay. Ah. Oh, oh, here we are. You here? Please? Please? No. Uh, so you really scaled that grinding, I guess. Gosh darn it. I went the wrong way. Oh, finally.
Okay. Uh-oh. Mouse? Mouse? Okay, I don't know why, but my mouse stopped working there for a moment. Okay. I am going to go with... Actually, Flame Atronach, because she's just more reliable. Uh, it makes you really think when you see people saying how they have ton of five stars with weapons and how much one costs. Yep. I feel bad for their wallets. It's like, just why would you spend so much money on that game? It just costs so much. Think of how many fun little indie games you could buy for the cost of a single five-star character. Let alone for the cost of a single five-star character that has all six constellations. It's... Uh, it's just painful. It's just so painful to think about. Oh, jeez. Okay. He, he broke out. He's out. Alright. Get my level up. Magic. Not items. No, I need hush. Okay. Okay, he at least has no magicka. I hope. Okay, and now I want Atronach Mark. And what else? I should probably get my Contra Familiar stuff. I'm gonna need that, I think. Well, you know what they say, everyone does with their money whatever they want. Uh, you are correct! You are correct in that. I probably should have done the extra Magicka first before leveling. Oh well. my face. Oh, man. Oh. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this guy right now. Um, I'm just dying too fast. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to summon my Atronach and run away. Ah, right, right, death counter. Okay, 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 okay. I keep forgetting. Thank you for reminding me. Death counter. Oh, game. Game. Okay, game. With pleasure. Keeping me on the straight and narrow. Somebody's gotta do it. Just take all the things. I don't care if they're not good. Run away! Oh no, it's a dragon lock. I don't think I can open it. Yeah, nope. 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 Oh, <laughs> just a single spell. He murders me. Okay, new plan. I will. I will update the death counter. The new plan. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Yeah, I don't actually want any of these. Take a look at him. Say hello. 
and then leave. Okay, we will return later. Do you remember what his name was? I don't remember. All right, we're in double digits now. No, okay, that's fine. Oh man, okay. <laughs> it wasn't Vulcan, I know that much. It was a different dragon priest. Okay. I will label this one as Dragon Priest. Dragon Priest with fire. Very nasty fire. And that is to the Highgate Ruins Catacombs. Should be able to just run back. Okay, well, that was an adventure. Hey, they're open now. <laughs> okay. Restless rag dragger. No. The heck? Frostbite spider swarm. I'll go ahead and just use my level up on this one. Ow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I don't want to die to this. That'd be so stupid. <laughs> okay. Something I should get is restoration dual casting. Not that one. This one. I feel like I'm actually healing slower though, which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I think I heal a lot faster by casting them separately. Me alone. <gasps> no, no, he's one of those. No. Like it. Uh, ah! Flee! Flee! No. I'm 
impossible fix that death counter make tricks people into thinking he only died once. Oh, is it off the screen? Okay, I'll move it. I'll move it. I'm squishy mage. I'm nothing without my summons. Oh, he died to the traps. Aha! It worked. <laughs> My plan worked flawlessly. Hybrid for the win. That is your choice. I like being full mage. Yo. How's that? That should be okay. Okay. I feel like we just had a break, but what's the time looking? It's been half an hour since the last break. I'm not dead. Oh. Okay. He... Faded out of existence. That's that's cool. I'm gonna leave. I did loot those. Oh, potion. I don't want her to hit me with that trap. No, oh, thank you. Okay. Now I can leave again. What the? Um. Why did that not work? Why is my map broken now? Okay, that's that's cool. That's fun. All right. Why not? Okay, Rune Vault Excavation. Wow, we went through some really long dungeons just to get to a single guy I can't kill. And I'm pretty sure there are no branching doors here. I think it's all very, very straight. Uh, what's with the red? I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I want out. Let me out. I'm not one of your thralls! Let me out! Ooh, chest. No, oh, we already looted that. Let me out! Well, that was the way out. I don't want to be a thrall! I am an independent cat! I will not be one of yours. You know, I didn't realize that they actually start applying this effect to your head if you're in here for long enough. Oh, jeez. Why was she all the way over here? I don't know why. That was a mistake. Oh man. Okay, so I kind of want to make a skeleton army and then come back. 
and try and hide in the corner or something. But I don't know if that's going to work. That's what I want to do. Or maybe just come back when I'm more powerful. I have a feeling his mask is really good though. Oh, coin purse. Oh, turn undead. Maybe I should have used something like that earlier. When I was panicking and running for my life. That probably would have been helpful. Useful even. Okay. Almost back out. Okay, rune vault, excavation. We went through that entire thing. And that leads us back to Baldor Iron Shaper's house. I guess I'll just say Baldor's house. And then that one. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, some iron daggers, ingots. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, and then that is Skuldoffen South Tower Eastward. And Flo, I'm not playing it on the diagram thing. I'm using my notebook. I like my notebook. Ah, okay. And we went through so many freaking doors. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's still on my head. It's still on my head. She's infecting me. Oh. Okay, and then that takes me back to Dragon's Reach. Front door. Oh man. I don't know, Flo. Maybe after a stream I'll go ahead and put on the diagram, but how many pages do I have right now? Um, I'm halfway through page three. I don't know. I'll go ahead and try out the diagram, but I'm not gonna do that on stream. I can't imagine that'd be very amusing for you guys to watch. Keep the notebook? Of course I keep the notebook. What, were you telling me to throw away my notebook? Huh? Oh no, not another master door. Okay, here we go. You'll have a giggle every time you hear me turn a page. Uh-huh. There's your notebook ASMR. Yeah, do you hear that? You hear those pages. Unfortunately, I think with my 
my noise canceling, it just didn't really work. Too rough? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'll have to find a time where I can whisper page things. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever really do ASMR. If I do, it'd be very messed up. Okay, okay, okay. More, more undone. This is fine. Oh no, they are immune to fire, aren't they? I think they are. I think they're immune to fire. Okay, yeah. Ice is doing good. I think. Never mind, Ice is not doing good. It was the flame atronach. Issues causing issues. Okay, just so that they reset. I'm gonna read that. Just say when you do it so you can go to sleep. Just go to bed. Just go to bed, Flo. If you're tired, just go to bed. I'm not keeping you here, okay? I'm not kidnapping you. Just go to bed. Thank you for coming to the stream, but it's not that late. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because if you're saying stuff about needing to go to bed, I'm going to assume you need to go to bed. It's midnight yet. Yeah, just, just go to bed. I have a bad sleep schedule. I know how it is. Just go to bed. And maybe not ice bite. Uh... I'll try hailstone. Oh. Okay, here he comes. Oh, man. Okay, I think the hailstone's a bad idea. It's hitting both. Oh, ow. Okay, never mind. I'm out. I'm out. These guys do too much damage. I was just saying you doing ASMR would give you the will to go sleep much earlier. Thanks. Thanks, Flo. Love that confidence. Okay. Let's see, that was something ancestral too. Spawn, they do so much damage. Thanks for making helping others. What? Just so you know, I don't think any ASMR I would do would actually help put people to sleep. If I did try and do something, it'd probably be under the mentally disturbing category. Probably horror genre, to be honest. Just because I think that would be more more amusing. You got it wrong. No, no, I was kind of assuming that you were saying like, oh, yeah, if you ever do ASMR, I'm just going to bounce because I don't want to listen to ASMR, which I understand. Yeah, exactly. You turn off everything, go sleep. 
The Empire is fortunate to have the support of the Thalmor during this difficult time. No, screw the Thalmor. Nobody likes the Thalmor. Oh yes, quite. I can scarcely afford Truth be told, uh, blah blah blah. I don't care about that guy. I get nervous in the company of so many worthies. But while I'm here, I might as well get some real news from the other parts of Skyrim. <gasps> oh! I I messed something up. They think. They think they're at the, the party, like the gathering. Because I ended up in the Thalmor Embassy way earlier than I was supposed to. I think that's what this is going on. Um, they think we're at the summit, I think. Uh, I need your help with Let's something. I need to cause a scene get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Wait. Hold hold up. Farewell. Hold up. I need Let's your help with it. something. I need you to cause the scene get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Say no more. I was wondering what you were doing here. I'm glad to play my part. Uh, oh, I was hoping. I've got this. Do what you need to do. Hey, you will never rest easy, for Balgruff's enemies will not. How did Dark Elf come to be a house girl? Balgruff and I share a battle bond. We met as youths and forged our friendship in the fires of war. When he became Jarl, I insisted on serving as his protector. He had no cause to argue. Gods, you are curious. Almost dangerously so. Aw, oh, ma'am. I'm just... I'm just a simple adventurer. What's a house carl do? I am charged with protecting the Jarl from any and all threats. Powerful men have many enemies. More so in times of strife. So you can imagine the dangers. Oh, yes. There have been attempts on the Jarl's life. More than one would-be assassin has met his end at the tip of my blade. Oh, what threats does the Jarl face? Dragons, Stormcloak assassins, ambitious and unscrupulous nobles. Sometimes I think his own children want him dead. And those are just the physical threats. Assaults on his sanity are another matter entirely. Every day, he deals with obsequious functionaries and incompetent bureaucrats. Sadly, I'm not allowed to eliminate them. Well, not yet, anyway. Okay. I've got my eyes on you. How do I get him to actually make a scene? Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice. I don't think he will. Come on, make a scene, man. Come on. Have you ever tried listening to ASMR? Um, kind of. All the standing Honestly, I've never properly listened to ASMR just because I don't like ASMR. Like especially the whispering, the pop, I'm not a man. and the popping, I'm a and bleh. Human form. yeah. Just unsheath me and point I just, me at the I hate the sound profiles that they use. I don't like them. I'm not a fan. I just, mm -mm. they make me want to rip my headphones off. <laughs> yeah. For me, they're kind of like chewing sounds in a lot of ways. It's just like horrible. Just, ugh. yeah. A horrible noise. Rather be back at White Rock. But while I'm here, I might as well get some real news from the other parts of Skyrim. How well do you know Ellen when? Not well at all. And I'm happy to keep it that way. That woman and her Thalmor justiciers have caused nothing but problems for the people of Skyrim. 
Are you enjoying the party? I am not. I have no more taste for Thalmor wine than I do for Thalmor company. What is more, I'm away from the hold at a time when there are dragons and storm cloaks on the loose. Well, There's every chance I'll return to find a pile of smoking ash where White Run once stood. Uh, good for you. You are still in White Run. Uh, also good for you. There aren't actually dragons out and about yet. I'm just saying. Farewell. So you know, you, you might as well enjoy this non-existent party with these non-existent Thalmor. From what you heard, the original ASMR just sounds like touching with stuff next to the mic to help relax, not whatever fetish most do nowadays. Uh, I've heard like foam ASMR and like just some other stuff. And the whisper, I hate the whispering. I hate it. It seems our enemies have no end of spies, saboteurs, and assassins to send against us. Rather be back just, I just, I don't while, while like it. I'm here, I might as well get some real news or like when people have cooking, cooking stuff is like, I like, I really like watching um, cooking shows. I just, I do. I like watching, well, learning how to make more foods and just well, learning more about food stuff in general. But what I don't like is all the kitchen sounds when it's just the kitchen sounds. I don't like it. I'd much rather just have the video completely muted. So it's really horrible when it's like there's there's the sounds that are really loud. I mean like really loud. They're not that loud but you know. But when they hyper focus on those and then like sometimes have a voiceover it's like I want to hear the voiceover but I don't want to hear those kitchen sounds. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. I just, I don't like it. I am not a fan. Oh, I thought you spell me incantations for give me a new spell. Arctic Blast? I say I might take Arctic Blast just so I have a different spell type. In those cases, if you go deaf, that's when you can truly appreciate it. I'd rather not go deaf, thank you. I'd really rather not go deaf. It's just like in videos. In real life, I don't, I don't mind the cooking sounds at all. Because it's just, at that point, it's just background noise. I can tune it out, it's easy to tune out. But when it's in a video, it's brought to the forefront. And it's like it tries to force my brain to listen to it, and I hate that. It's bleh. It's awful. Ooh, I could buy a Contra Clanifer. Clanifers are really good. I don't want to do Dramora Curl or Churl. Because they get resummoned. Which can be problematic. I think I'm gonna get the clan for one. I do really like Avenging Wraith as well. Can I sell something to get enough money? Ooh, he'll buy like the gold earrings and stuff. Heck yeah, okay. All right, just our clothing. What are you still doing? Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate. All right, this. gold earrings. Don't need those. Silver garnet ring. Necklace. I think this bow biter's runic stuff looks cool. It is heavy armor though. I'll go ahead and sell it. Okay, now give me spells! Give me Avenging Wraith and Clamfer. Okay. 
I'm tempted to grab consuming power as well. Flame of Mars is also good. I'm not sure if I should buy it right now, though. Eventually, I do want to get all the spells. This, this could work. This could work. Okay, I'm buying backlash. I'm oh, forgotten magic spectral missiles. Launches two magic missiles at the target, each causing 5% of your total magic cut as fire, frost, or shock damage. Each missile drains 10% of your magic cut. Interesting. Definitely the more powerful you are, the more powerful those are. Okay, but backlash, avenging wraith, and Vanifer. Oh, if you heard, but Jarl Balgruf said my work is a priority, which means you should be on your way. Sir, I don't even know where it is, so yeah. I know, very, very convincing argument there. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Okay. So, I want to try that fight one more time. I know I have to walk a very long way for it, but if I can use that interrupting one, then it could go really well. Because he does a lot of damage, but he doesn't necessarily have a lot of health. So, and I'm hoping that the Clanifer will do good, just that it'll be tanky enough to actually distract him for a little bit. Or at least keep the other, the other undead distracted. That's my hope anyway. I've never actually successfully used this interrupt spell. I'm hoping it'll work though. Okay. I probably shouldn't jump off there. Tempting. <laughs> For a second. Oh. For a second, I saw that sack and I thought it was somebody leaning down. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least going down is a lot faster than climbing back up. Jeez, these tunnels are so long, though. It was through there, right? Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. One more door. One more trap laid in everything. At least they don't have time to respawn yet. For some reason my computer's chugging. I wonder why. I do actually kind of wonder why. I definitely prefer it didn't do that, but... Oh well. Okay, well, if this doesn't work, then 
I will definitely just have to come back and fight this guy some other time. Okay. Save over that one. All right, magic. We are... All right, so first off, Clanfer. Can I dual cast that? I can. Okay. Unfortunately, I do not have a level, a level up anymore. But, oh well. So I don't get a free. I really hope my clan for actually works. Okay. I would love to just use Atronach Mark, but... Okay, Backlash. Cost 21. I think I'll have Backlash on, right? No, no, having Backlash on both hands should work. I hope. I'm just waiting for my mana to recharge and then we'll go in. He ready. Oh, he ready. Okay. I don't know where my clan for is. He's not in here. Okay. Wait, where is... cast that at a bad time. But this does seem to be working. Um, Nightfall, just break the magicka. My side. I thought he was on my side. The heck? Ow, 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 I'm dead. Man, I thought this was going to work better. I was like, yeah, just all those spells, they'll be... They'll just hit himself, right? But no. We'll change the death counter. Well, darn it. I mean, it kind of worked. Okay, I'm going to start by resummoning the clan of her in there. Man. Okay, drink the magic potions. Go with Backlash. Okay, Doppelganger won't work. Uh, he's not a living target. Oh, one second. Let me... Twitch is saying it's time for the break again, but I'm just gonna pause it. Uh. 
Maybe hush? Darn it. Okay, I need more magic. More magicka! Okay. And then let's try Atronach Mark. Come on, my pets. Come on. Uh oh, my client first dead. My client first dead. I'm dead. It did last for a good while, though. So. Ow. Ah. Yeah, no. Okay, well. That didn't work. I was hoping it would. Ah, darn it. Darn it, darn it. Well, I'm gonna go put us on ad break. And then when I come back, I'll see if I can figure out a better way to fight this guy, because there's got to be a way, right? Maybe I do just need an army. Okay, maybe playing army really is just the best plan. Okay, anyway, three minute ad, let's go. All right, get up, get a drink, use restroom, etc., etc.
Okay, we're back. Oh, I think... I think I need to update the death counter again. How many times did I die? Oh well, I'll just say one. Whatever. It's whatever. Okay, um... I'm gonna try one more time, but I'm really thinking just playing Skeleton Army is the best plan here. Which means I do need to go find one of those shrines. I don't remember where they are though. But I'm thinking Skeleton Army. So maybe today I'll make the skeletons or... Or maybe that's just for the next Skyrim stream. Um, this is already five hours long, but yeah, I don't know. Da -da -da, Contra Clamfer. I'm waiting for my man to recharge again because I didn't do that. Okay. Okay, he's up. Um, power of the master. Stone flesh. Unfortunately, that very much let them detect me. And then I think I just want to kind of do Adrenoch Mark. Oh no, I have my own clan for. to attack me? You're supposed to attack my pets. Oh, my pet's dead. Oh no, my pet turned against me. Okay. Oh wait, I'm still alive? Wait, what? I mean, not for long. Okay. Well, I didn't realize my claim for could turn against me, so... All right, so much for that. <laughs> That's not happening. Come on, I said off. Okay, well, one second. I think my cat wants in. Get a cat. Can I get my cat? No. Okay. Never mind, my kid or cat did not want in. Very sad, very tragic. Okay, I don't want to walk all the way back out, so... I'm loading. Back to Dragon's Reach. Darn it! I want his mask! Alright, next stream, building a skeleton army to defeat a dragon priest. Another wanderer here to lick my Well, next boots. Skyrim stream cuz uh next stream is probably going to be on Friday. I'm not planning on doing another stream tomorrow, another stream tomorrow. Um yes. So, so Da, da, da. So yeah, uh, Friday's probably going to be the next stream, and that is going to be continuing Library of Ruina. And I'll be at the regular time of 12 p.m. PST, 3 p.m. EST, or 8 p.m. GMT. <laughs> what? Are there actually people here? Really? Where? Oh, skeevers. Hello. I guess I didn't kill them. How did they get out? Okay. Anyway. They should take me back outside. After I go back through Golden Glow. Man, it's so long. 
The path back out is so long. But such is the way. The way of the randomizer run. Okay, and this should take us back out onto the ship, I believe. Ooh, look how pretty those dragons are. Oh, not the ship. Right. Minchi left. So, I want to try something silly with that giant camp over there. So I have a spell that will summon something where it will gain 150% the stats of the last thing that killed it. And I want a giant to smash it into the ground. Oh, hello, my flame matronach. You appear in the weirdest of places. It kind of concerns me. Moose. No, elk. My bad. Not moose. Hello. Goodbye. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> okay, there's the giant camp. Detected? Wait, just bandits? Okay. Well, that's not what I expected. Um... Well, I guess I'll just watch them get obliterated. No, sure of mercy on you. You're the one who picked a fight with a giant. Well, with the giant and his mammoths. Hey, 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 don't come close to me. That didn't do anything, not yet. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay. Um... Avenging Wraith. That's it. Not Pale Shadow. Avenging Wraith. Do 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 do. Can you go pick a fight with a giant? I guess I'll have to pick a fight with a giant. Now go fight the giant. We're a mammoth. I'm honestly fine with whatever. Watching things go flying. Oh, I love the Skyrim space program. Oh. See? And then this time she didn't go flying! Because the giant is what killed her. Isn't that neat? Oh, and then I could even do Atronach Mark. When did we reach 13? A little while ago. Come on, you can do it! Woo! Oh, Avenging Wraith can be so good. 
Now let's see if it works the way I want it to work. Or if her stats are lower again. Basically, does she go flying when get hit? Ow. Stupid spider attacking me, I think. Yes, okay. She did not go flying. But she also didn't seem to take as many hits. Okay, two hits. Three hits. Four hits. So it does appear that that only works once per kill. Ah! I'm just letting my flame atronach take it so that I just have a giant leveled um, avenging wraith. more or bandits you don't see me come on come on my flame atronach work i believe in you oh and that failed okay No, no health recovery. Yay! And as soon as his soul leaves his body, he can fly to the sky. Because everybody knows that in Skyrim, your soul is really what affects gravity. Flame Atronach, I'm counting on you. Well, maybe I should loot the camp first. And then come back over here. Because now it's time to kill a mammoth. Oh boy! Oh wait. Versus the spider. Aha, die spider. Feel the pain of my summon. Ha 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 ha. Okay, here is the giant camp. I'm really surprised the mammoths didn't aggro. I will go ahead and sneak. Just because I don't want to get caught. Rip cage. I don't know how many of those we have. Hello, Mammoth. Don't mind me. I'm definitely not doing anything nefarious. No siree. Just coming in here and taking some stuff. Nothing to worry about. Hey, another right foot. Heck yeah. That's another skelly. Was there? Ooh, charred skeever hide. That stuff is surprisingly valuable. Even though you think that you could just make it yourself, but apparently not. I guess the dragonborn's just too good for charring their own skeevers. Alright, thank you, mammoth. Okay. And I guess we can check out that other place. 
I should probably dump some of this equipment. Yeah, my inventory's a little full. Okay, and before... Before I have him dredge it up... And that right there is why I save before having him dredge up a corpse. Because sometimes it just falls straight through the ground. <laughs> it is why deep storage is just the better option. Okay, try again. Okay, dwarven stuff, dwarven stuff. Uh, I'll go ahead and just put those in there. It's fine. So the armor I'm not gonna wear. So that's why my man's been regenerating so slowly. Because I'm still wearing the jester's clothing. Darn it. I don't like a white forget and just do that. Oh, right, the ring of looting. Oh, I don't know, maybe I'll keep the 30 health and magicka though. It is just very nice to have. Mm. I have four copies of the Golden Glove Cellar Key. Uh, that might, must just be because of the wax key um, perk. Okay, maybe I should put away all but two. Just so that my inventory is not completely overburdened. There we go. It's pretty good. Uh, anything else I really want to put away? I should probably put away my books and all of my ingredients and some of these. Into law of potions. I should probably put law of potions away. At least the ones that I just will not use. Ooh, tundra spider venom. That's cool. Stamina I don't care about. Uh, strength I don't really care about. Sleeping tree sap. That's drugs! Same with the skooma. I don't remember if you can actually get, um... Not... Words. My words are failing me today. If you can get addicted. I don't remember if you can actually get addicted in this game. For some reason, I don't think you can, but I'm also not positive on that. Okay, that should be good enough for now. Preserve the corpse again. The corpse has been preserved. Okay. And now as we come up on these guys, I'm going to sneak again. <laughs> as I jump around. Oh wait, are they all dead? 
Wait, did she actually kill them? No. I guess they're dead. I thought I was going to have to do some more fighting. That's fine. My bracers. Uh, I'll take them. Okay. One more dungeon. And it's a house. Okay. What house? Sigluges. Okay. Any good, good books. I'm gonna sleep now. Good luck not reaching 15. Thanks, Flo. <laughs> sleep good. I will try to not hit 15 deaths, but honestly, it probably will happen. Especially if I pick fights that I probably shouldn't. It says there's a cave nearby. Maybe we can head over there. Oh, that's where Frostmere Crypt is. Huh. I think we actually found that one earlier. I think. I can't guarantee it. It's so easy to lose track of where we have and haven't been. Oh. I'm just going to climb around, but maybe just walking around is better. Slightly more sandy. Sanity preserving. There we go. Come on, get up the hill! You can do it! Go, legs! I wish I had a horse right now. But I don't think I'll be able to get a horse. So this is all I got. Just the power of Skyrim jumping. Come on, we can do it! Yeah! A little bit of progress at a time. That's all we need. Okay, this looks slightly more doable. Except if I fall, then it'll be quite bad. Jump! Jump! Go, my little Khajiit lay! Okay. That's, that's cool. You can do it! <laughs> um. Go, Matronach. I believe in you. Oh, actually, this is a good time to pull up my crossbow. I think it will do extra damage to them. And she walks away. She knows. Uh -huh, you can't out. Out. Okay, that hurt. It's like, haha, you can't get me, but no. Uh, how would they do against a Clanifer? Soon. Soon your blood will be mine. <laughs> Ow. Ow, my face. You can do it, my little clan fur. I believe in you. Oh, look, I actually steal arrows at me. Yeah. 
You know, maybe I could try summoning my... My very powered up. Oh! Actually, the clamper worked really well, so I'm gonna keep using him. Ow! This isn't working. Back to my hidey hole. I think I chose a different hidey hole. Unfortunately, people that heal is a little bit of a pain. Oh, ma'am. Ow. We're supposed to be able to hit me. I'm supposed to be not not hidden, but you know, not in danger right here. Ow! Stop it! I'm trying to wait for my man to recover. Oh, that did not go where it was supposed to. Okay. Well, this isn't going to work. Yeah. I'm hoping at least the Thrall can die. I can at least deal with him. Because those arrows hurt. Quite a bit. Plenty of iron arrows to spare, buddy. You're not getting away. No, stand up. Stand up, I dare you. Stop, stop dodging. You're not allowed to dodge. Okay. At least he's done now. Ow. Oh. Okay. Ow. My face. I need more magic. More magicka. Should I do fire? Fire spells? That would be nice. Hmm. I already got plain meld. Unfortunately, I don't think I really want any of these perks right now. Except for maybe Descending Light. Because having increased mana regen at the start of combat would be very useful. Or just sneak. Obviously, sneaking's not going to do much for me this in this fight, but... Please die. Please die. I really want you to die. No, 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 come back! She's been skating. 
actually did a pretty good job of skating, but she was skating. Okay, it's just one more left. They don't like fire. Yeah! Get him! You can do it! You can do it, my Atronach! I believe in you! Shoot, I can't see the vampire. Fire. 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 Ow. Please die. Please actually just die. Is she actually dead? Okay, good. She's actually dead. I was a little worried there. A hip bone, a left arm, a right foot, and a right leg. Oh boy! And vampire armor that's just generally worth a good bit. Okay, I don't want to go through there yet. <laughs> Who knows, I might end up in another boss fight. Alright, where's the Thrall? Here's Mr. Thrall. Okay. I was definitely not meant to climb up that. But I did anyway! <laughs> Should I go down and get that vampire body? Probably. Am I gonna? No. <sighs> Alright, where am I? Randvig's best. Okay, I don't know who that ghost guy is, but... Okay. Oh jeez, it's an expert door. Okay. Just gonna save again. I don't have any choice. I'm sorry. He doesn't have any choice, but he also can't get through the door. Just kind of there, but also not. Oh, no, it's right here. And I immediately, immediately break. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay. I don't want to do this. I don't have any choice. I'm oh. sorry. Oh, he died so fast. Poor guy. Ooh, Horfrost. Ice lands. I do not have ice lands. Okay. Um, I do think I'm probably gonna make this the last dungeon for today. Hmm. It kind of looks like this one's got a few, a few paths. A lot of just dead Draugr, which is always concerning. Yeah. Hello? Ghosties? I think I hear a skeleton. Okay, so we got a guy over there. Quite a lot of cages. Walk toward the chest. Gravity will do the rest. 
still the warlock. Okay. You know what? Let's just use Power of the Master again. And then... I'll just let my Atronach do the rest, pretty much. And then if he walks through, I'll go ahead and blast him. Maybe. There we go. Die! I said die, please. I feel like my Atronach did not do a lot there. Well, at least my restoration increased. I think. Radvig's fast key. Ooh, silt staff. Someone's a subjugated ghost for 60 seconds. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's really depressing. Like, we literally heard the poor ghost earlier pleading like, Hey, I don't want to do this. Don't make me do this. Oh, that's so depressing. Ooh, run to Mingut. I'll happily take that. Jeez, how many corpses does this guy have? Oh, nice. It just unlocks everything in here. Conjure Kikrim. Summons the Daedric Wolf Mount Kikrim for 108 seconds. When Britain, low level creatures and people fleeing to her. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I want that actual spell. Oh, unusual gem. Nice. Thacker of Fear. Horror of Castle Zir. A one act play. I need a drink. Dramatis Personae. Clavidus, Captain of the Imperial Guard. Cyrodiilic. Anara, a Dunmer maid. Ulis, a Lieutenant of the Imperial Guard. Argonian. Jolessa, a young Argonian mage. Late evening, the play opens in the interior of the great entrance hall of a cell of a castle in South Anud, replete with fine furnishings and tapestries. Torches provide the only illumination. In the center of the foyer is a great iron door, the main entrance to the castle. The staircase up to the landing above is next to the store. On stage left is the door to the library, which is currently closed. On stage right is a huge suit of armor. Twenty feet tall, nearly touching the ceiling of the room, though no one can Though no one can be seen, there is a sound of a woman singing coming from the library door. A loud thumping knock on the iron front door stops the woman singing. The door to the library opens and Anara, a common looking maid, comes out and hurries to open the front door. Clavidus, a handsome man in imperial garb, stands there. Good evening to you, Sergio. Good evening. Is your master at home? No, Sergio, it is only me here. My master Sidura Ken My master Sidura Kenda Telavani Hodorf Zir is at his winter estate. Is there something I can do for you? Possibly. Would you mind if I came in? Not at all, Sergio. Please, may I offer you some flynn? Clavidus comes into the hall and looks round. Mm, no, thank you. What's your name? Anara, sir. Or Sergio. Anara, when did your master leave Scathanud? More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sergio. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? Yes, there is. Do you know an Ashlander by the name of Sul Karfa? 
No, Sergio. I, I don't know no one by that name. Then you aren't likely to know now. He's dead. He was found a few hours ago dying of frostbite in the Ashlands. He was hysterical, nearly incomprehensible, but among his last words were castle and zeer. Dying of frostbite and summer tide in the Ashlands? Vec, that's strange. I suppose it's possible that my master knew this man, but being an Ashlander and my master being of the house of Tilvani, well, if you'll pardon me for being flippant, Sergio, I don't think they could have been friends. That is your, that is your master's library. Would you mind if I looked in? Please, Sergio, go wherever you want. We got nothing to hide. We're loyal Imperial subjects. As I hear are all the Tovani. Note from playwright. This, sh this line should be delivered without sarcasm. Trust the audience to laugh. It never fails, regardless of the politics of the locals. Clavidus enters the library and looks over the books. The library needs dusting. Yes, Sergio. I was just doing that when you knocked at the door. I'm grateful for that. If you had finished, I wouldn't notice the space in the dust where a rather large book has recently been removed. Your master is a wizard, it seems. No, Sergio. I mean, he studies a lot, but he don't cast no spells, if that's what you mean by a wizard. He's a kenna, went to college and everything. You know, now that I think about it, I know what happened to that book. One of the other kennas from the college been round yesterday and borrowed a couple of books. He's a friend of the master, so I thought it'd be all fine. Was this kenna... Was his name Warvim? Could have been. I don't remember. There's a suspected necromancer at the college named Kenna Warvim we arrested last night. We don't know what he was doing at the college, but it was something illegal. That's for certain. Was that the Kenna who borrowed the book? A little fellow? A cripple with a withered leg? No, Sejo. It weren't the Kenna from yesterday. He's a big fellow who could walk, so I noticed. I'm gonna have a look around. I'm gonna have a look around the rest of the house, if you don't mind. Clav... Clavids goes up the stairs and delivers the following dialogue from the landing and the rooms above. Anara continues straightening up the downstairs, moving a high-backed bench in front of the armor to scrub the floor. Can I ask, Sergio, what you're looking for? Maybe I could help you. Are these all the rooms of the castle? No secret passages. <laughs> oh, Sergio, what would a Sedura, can a Tavali horde off here? What, what secret passages? Clavides is now looking at the armor. Your master is a big man. <laughs> oh, Sergio, don't tease. That giant armor is just for decoration. My master slew that giant ten years ago and kind of keeps it for a souvenir. Hmm, that's right. I remember hearing something about that when I first took my post here. It was someone named Zir who killed the giant, but I didn't think the first name was Hordoth. Memory fades, I'm afraid. What was the giant's name? I'm afraid I don't remember, Sergio. I do. It was Torfang. My god of Torfang's shield. I don't understand, Sergio. Torfang's shield? Clavides runs down the stairs and examines the armor. Sul Karifa said something about getting out of Torfield's shield. I thought he was just rat raving out of his mind. But he ain't got a shield, Sergio. Clavides pushes the high-backed bench out of the way, revealing the large mounted shield at the base of the armor. Yes, he does. You covered it up with that bench. I didn't do it on purpose, Sergio. I'm just cleaning. I see that armor every day, Sergio, and in fact, I swear I ain't never noticed that shield before. It's fine, Anara. I believe you. Clavides pushes on the shield and pulls it back to reveal a tunnel down. It appears that Sodura Kenetovani Horde Officer does have a need for a secret passage. Would you get me a torch? But Vek, I ain't never seen that before. Anar takes a torch from the wall and hands it to Clavides. Clavides enters the tunnel. Wait here. Anara watches Clavides disappear down the tunnel. She appears agitated and finally runs for the front door. When she opens it, Ulis, an Argonian lieutenant in the Imperial Guard, is standing at the entrance. She screams. I'm sorry to frighten you. Not now, go away! I'm afraid the captain wouldn't like that, miss. You're... But the 
Captain, blessed mother. Clavis comes out of the tunnel, white faced. It takes him. It takes him a few moments to speak. Captain, what's down there? Levides to Inara. Did you know your masters a necromancer? That your cellar is filled with bodies? Inara faints. Elise carries her to the bench and lays her down. Let me see, Sergio. Oh, wait. Let me see, Sergio. You'll see soon enough. We're going to need every soldier from the post here to cart away all the corpses. Elise, I've seen enough battles, but I've never seen anything like this. No two are alike. Khajiit, Slaud, Dunmer, Cyrodiil, Breton, Nord, burned alive, poisoned, electrified, melted, torn apart, turned inside out, ripped to shreds, and sewn back up together. You think the Ashlander escaped? That's what happened? I don't know. Why would someone do something like this, Ulysse? There's a knock on the door. Clevis answers it. A young Argonian woman. Solas is standing, holding a package and a letter. Good morning. You're not Lord Seer, are you? No. What do you have there? A letter and a package I'm supposed to deliver to him. Will he be back shortly? I don't believe so. Who gave you the package to deliver? My teacher at the college. Kim Verwerven. He's had a bad leg, so he asked me to bring these to his lordship. Actually, to tell you the truth, I was supposed to deliver him last night, but I was busy. Greetings, sister. We'll give the package to his lordship when we see him. Ah, hail, brother. I had heard there was a handsome Argonian in the Scarth und. Unfortunately, I promised Kenva Warven that I'd deliver the package directly to his lordship's hands. I'm already late, I can't just... We're Imperial Guards, miss. We'll take the package and the letter. Zalasa reluctantly hands Clavis the letter and the package. She turns to go. You're at the call. Er, you're at the college if we need to see you. Yes. Fair, fair tidings, brother. Good night, sister. Clavis opens the package as Zalasa exits. It is a book with many loose sheets. It appears we found the missing book. Delivered to our fairy hands. Levitz begins to read the book silently to himself. Elise to himself, very pleased. Another Argonian in Scathund. And a pretty one of that. I hope we weren't too rude to her. I'm tired of all these women with their smooth, wet skin. It'd be wonderful if we could meet when I'm off duty. While Elise talks, he opens the letter and reads it. Elise continued. She looks like she's from the south. Like me, you know? Argodians from north from northern Black Marsh are much less Ulysse continues reading, transfixed by the letter. Clevid skips to the back of the book and reads the last sentences. Clevis In black ink. The Khajiiti male showed surprisingly little fortitude to a simple lightning spell, but I've had interesting physiological results with the medium level acid spell casts uh, cast slowly over several days. In red ink on the margins. Yes, I see. Was the acid spell cast uniformly over the entire body of the subject? In black ink. No. The Nord female was subjected to 16 hours of a frost spell, which eventually crystallized her into a state of suspended animation, from which she eventually expired. Not so the Nord male, nor the Ashlander male, who lapsed into their comas much earlier, but then recovered. The Ashlander then tried to escape, but I restrained him. The Nord then had an interesting chemical overreaction to a simple fire spell and expired. See the accompanying illustration. Then in red ink. Yes, I see. The pattern of boils and lesions suggests some sort of internal incineration, perhaps caused by the combination of a short burst of flame followed following a longer session with frost. It's such a shame I can't personally come to see the experiment, but I compliment you on your excellent notation. Then in black ink again. Thank you for the suggestion about slowly poisoning my maid, Anara. The dosages you've suggested have had fascinating results, eroding her memory very subtly. I intend to increase it exponentially and see how long it is before she notices. Speaking of which, it is a pity that I haven't had any Argonian subjects, but the slave traders promised me some healthy specimens in the autumn. I should like to test their metabolism in comparison to the elves and humans. It's my theory that a medium-level lightning spell casts in a continuous wave on an 
on an Argonian wouldn't be lethal for several hours at least, similar to, similar to my results with the Cyrodolic female and, of course, the giant. In red ink, I'd be ashamed to wait until autumn to see. At least reading the letter. In red ink. Here is your Argonian. Please let me know the results. It's signed, Camel Warven. Back to Clavis. By Kenrith, this isn't necromancy, it's destruction! Kim Warven and Kenna Talvani Hordroth Zir haven't been experimented with death, but the but with the limits of magical torture. The letter isn't addressed to Kenna Talvani Hordroth Zir. It's addressed to Sildura Itach Zir, his wife, do you think? Itchala. Ah, uh, I have such a hard time with these names. They're rough. Shalia, that was the Telvani of the Zero family who I heard about in connection with the giant slaying. We'd best get the maid out of here. She'll need to go to a healer. Lavitz wakes up Anara. She appears disoriented. Well, what's happening? Who are you? Don't worry, everything is going to be fine. We're going to take you to a healer. Do you need a coat? Do you know you need a coat, Yachia? No, thank you. No, I'm not cold. She stops, realizing that she's been caught. Clavides and Ulish unsheathe their blades. You have black ink on your fingers, your ladyship. And when you saw me at the door, you thought I was the Argonian that your friend Warvim sent over. That's why you said... Not now. Go away. You're much more observant than Anara. She never did understand what was happening, even when I tripled the poison spell and she expired in what I observed as considerable agony. What were you going to use first on me? Lightning or fire? Mm, lightning. I find fire to be too unpredictable. As she speaks, the flames and the torches extinguish. The stage is utterly dark. There is the sound of a struggle, swords clanging, suddenly a bolt of lightning flashes out, and there is silence. From the darkness, Anara speaks. Hmm. Fascinating. There are several more flashes of lightning as the curtain closes. The end. And one more journal. Okay, here we go. Fourth of evening star, 4E200. It never ceases to amaze me how many fall for my simple trap. I may have to consider tweaking it a bit, though. Many of them in recent months have been dying the second they hit the cage floor. Putting a foot, putting a foot or two of water in it didn't help either. In fact, it may actually be making things worse. The last one to fall and broke both his arms and legs. He proceeded to float there and eventually drowned. If it weren't for the water, I would have had a great time twisting his mind until I decided to end him. Eighth of Evening Star, 4E200. Captured another one. Finally. It's definitely true that whatever these orcs gain in size and strength, they lose in mental capacity. I'm amazed they can even speak. He kept saying that when he gets out, he'll break me in half like a twig. Persuasive, isn't he? Anyway, I told him that if he holds his head under the water for as long as this can candle wick lasts, I'd let him go free. Stupid thing drowned within minutes. I never tire of this. Thirteenth of Evening Star, 4E200. I haven't captured a soul for days and the last victim died on impact. Of course, I'm still able to reclaim his soul, but without the thrill of killing or any kind of torture, the process lacks that special something. The reclaimed souls I've met... I've summoned make decent targets, but taking a mortal's life is so much more sweet. All the bandits look the same. They all have the same face. Uh, I'm very glad I got another lockpick. I'm getting tired of not having lockpicks. Why are there so many psychopaths? I mean, 
I guess to be fair, I could be considered one as well. Just because, you know, I am kind of going around just murdering a bunch of people, but, you know, in my defense, they do attack me first. I'm not going around killing innocent people. Ooh, Dwarven Battle Axe. Thank you. It sounds like there's a wall, like a word wall in here. I'm not expected to like go backwards, right? There must be a way. Otherwise, I guess I'm just completely out. Out of luck on this one. Oh no, that's that's a hidden door. No? Well, it looks like it. Well, heck. Uh, I guess I'm not getting that word wall. Seriously, how many guys come down here? It doesn't seem like a very profitable spot, but... Hmm... Yeah... I don't think I can go backwards, so... Okay, I don't really want to read the Ethereum Wars right now. Darn! Well, hopefully there's going to be another entrance somewhere. Bit of a shame, though. There are definitely going to be areas we just can't get into, just due to how the randomizer ended up. Oh wait! Actually, we can go this way. Like, if we get unlucky enough to have a dead-end room. Huh? Ah! Um... No! Stay away! Okay, just the... Ow. I don't want to die to this guy, that'd be so stupid. Okay. <gasps> Crazy an arcane weapon for 165 seconds. Uh, I probably won't use it, but... Hold that gospel bell town. Just gonna heal myself again. Definitely the one bad thing about reading all the books is that it's going to take a long time. And there's no way around that. Uh, which way? To the right? Because it looks like a dead end. Oh, more ghosts. More ghosty boys. Okay, well... It is time once again for our three minute break, so... I'm going to go ahead and start that, and then when we get back, we'll finish this dungeon and then probably call it for today. So... Boop. Boop.
pop, 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 pop. All right, so I think I need to call this series Skyrim Book Club. I think that's what I need to call it. Oh. Please die. Please die. Please die. Yay, he died. Ooh, gold sapphire ring. Hey, I can take bones from ghosts. Excellent. <laughs> Any more in here? Bunch of dead Draugr. Bunch of dead Draugr. Kind of glad I didn't have to fight him this time. <gasps> There's the word wall! <laughs> I see, that's how he gets people. You just walk right into that. It won't work on me! <laughs> kind peace. <gasps> it's empty. That's horrible. That's just horrible of him. Alright, which way? Guess try the store. Oh, wait, I actually have to pick this one. I guess the other key only works for stuff downstairs. Hmm. Hello. I will take all of that. Thank you. Oh, it says there's an enemy. I don't. Oh, who's up there? Hello. Is he? Is he coming? Okay, yeah. Aha! I died to my minion, and to my fire. Ha 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 ha. Hey, another foot! Nice. Can't make it partial skeleton. Has to be a full skeleton. Oh, okay, this is the way up. Excellent. I just need to find the opening. And see if it goes somewhere half decent. Oh, I was expecting to open like a false door. Guess not. You know, I really feel like a Skyrim randomizer challenge is more how broken do dungeons get when you go through them backwards? The answer is very. <gasps> Another lockpick. Yay. This way? Nope. Okay. So. I am very much a fan of anime, and an anime that I watched quite a while ago, it was Land of the Lustrous, and it's basically like the first good 3D anime that I'm aware of, and I think it was Studio Orange that did it, but they're basically the pioneers of how to do 3D animation right. And... 
It's not really about the anime this time, but I decided to go ahead and read the manga. Oh, that is kind of slow fall. Huh. It's not done yet, but it's so close to it. I really think there's like one or two more chapters that they'll do and then it'll actually be done. And man, it gets wild. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but I definitely took a lot of turns I was not expecting. And I kind of knew it was going to be about self-discovery. And I also know now why they ended the anime where they did, even though it felt like a cliffhanger. It's just because that manga, it just goes and it does not stop. That story does not have breaks. I bet I wouldn't have taken that hit if it wasn't for the stupid camera. Yeah, I really might have to install my violins. It's just these cinematics are way too annoying. They're messing up my shots way more often than they're actually being useful. These look like death. But the art is also just super pretty in that manga. It really uses black and white super, super well. I feel like there's going to be another ghost in here. Mmm, bones. Any more loot? More precious loot. Wait, what temple is this? Ranvig's Fast. Okay. <gasps> okay. That's okay. I at least have lockpicks now. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, not lucky. Nice! Haha! <laughs> but yeah, I love the art. Just the way they do group sh Danger. I'm gonna go this way, I think. Oh gosh. That is. <sighs> I don't like those spider eggs. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm not arachnophobic, but I don't like that. Okay. Ruby Geo. What? That's the first time I've seen like an actual geode. Or something like labeled as a geode. That's pretty cool. Okay. You know how I said, oh, this is the last dungeon I'll do today. Well, okay. I kind of lied. Kind of. When you just run across something this cool, like, you gotta explore it, right? Okay, if they didn't hear that, I'm probably safe. Do I have a pickaxe? I did not pick up a pickaxe yet. Yeah, I don't have a pickaxe. Okay. I'm sure there'll be one in here. I'm sure. I have no idea what kind of spiders those are.
just this albino spider. Okay. Good, good fire. You feel weaker as the sun rises. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't realize I had gone. Okay, I think, I think I can still save myself. Do I just have cure disease? I do have cure disease. Ta-da! We're good. We're good. Nothing happened. Not turning into a vampire. If I'm gonna be a vampire, I want to be a good vampire. <laughs> I don't want to be one of the nasty, not good ones. I just picked up a bunch of flour. Where is the flour? I want to drop the flour. Sack of flour. I don't want it. Okay, let's go firebolt. Never mind, I don't have firebolt. <laughs> No, 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 no. Those kill me in my last playthrough. How? Those hurt. Oh, gosh. If I get hit by two of these at once, I'm just dead. Hit my pet. Hit my pet, not me. Hit my pet, not me. Please. Attack her. I don't even care that I don't get drops from them. Just attack it. Yeah, see, she's fine. Oh, that's a flame cloaked spider. Don't die, please. Okay, I don't think I can hit it, but she should be able to deal with it. It looks like she'll be okay. These aren't vanilla, right? There's no way these are vanilla. If these aren't vanilla, like, what in the world? What caused these to spawn? Because this stuff feels crazy. Just these weird heckin' spiders. Uh... Does she... does she defeat them? Maybe? I will pretend that she did. Alright, albino spider. Damn, albino spider pod. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I can't pick it up. Okay. And an expert door. You know, buddy, I do not blame you for just locking yourself in there. That's a terrifying room. Probably will have died either way. Millie locking herself in a room while just watching the spiders. 
lay their eggs around you is probably the most terrifying version. Where the heck? Oh, right there. Ah! Okay. Oh boy, another journal! have got to be vanilla, right? Oh. Oh, pickaxe. Nice. Okay, um... Journal spider experiments. I've only tried a few combinations, but things look promising. Here's what I've discovered so far. Ruby plus albino spider pod equals jumping flame spider. Ruby plus damage pod equals exploding flame spider. Ruby plus salt pile plus damage pod equals... Blanked out. Do not try. Ruby plus salt pile plus albino pod is flame cloaked spider. Looking at the results, it seems as though the purity of the gem could enhance the imbuing process in some unforeseen way. Perhaps if I could get my hands on a flawless ruby. I've also theorized that if one were to mix most any of the ingredients in the previous experiments, a new discovery is likely to be made. Upon further inspection of both a diamond and a garnet, it seems they don't contain the necessary power required. I know for a fact that a ruby works, as seen, my as seen in my previous experiments. Next, I'll see how the reaction works with an amethyst, emerald, or even a sapphire. I could see sapphire working, um, just because sapphire and rubies, they are effectively the same gem, just one of them has different impurities in it. There must be other types of spiders out there. Who knows what other kinds of imbuing processes have taken place? You best keep our eyes open. The source of the interaction will most likely be nearby. Whatever new species we find. I... I don't really want to make a spider. At the same time, though, I should. All right, journal, servoses. She's finally done it. I knew she'd eventually crack. I probably should have left when I had the chance. The untapped power within these spiders has finally gone to Mer... 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 head. Who would have thought these tiny albino creatures had the ability to harness such magic? Being locked in this cage is frustrating, of course, but it's but it is keeping me even more focused on my work. What did she think it was going to do anyway? As my sister, she must have known how devoted I am to this work, although I can't fault her for her actions right now. Who knows what kind of fumes these experiments have been giving off, or what effect they have on the brain. At least I'm alright. Or maybe I'm not, but I think I am. Could these experiments be having the same effect on me that they are on her? Oh boy, crazy spider lady! Yeah, go, go take care of that. Thank you. Looks like a flame cloaked. Oh yeah, she got this. Alright, I'm gonna save and then... Make... Make a spider. I think I probably have a sapphire, right? I have a garnet. Wait, was it diamond and garnet that he said wouldn't work? For not having the right power. I should go get more ruby though. Because there are a whole bunch over here. There it is. I should probably take slow fall off. It's just so visually distracting. Really? Only a single ruby? Those veins were huge though. Oh well. Did 
Did I sell my other gems? I might have sold the other gems. I don't think I put them in the other body. Alright, imbuing chamber. Congratulations! You are going to get a... Sure, a flawless amethyst. And just a regular albino spider pod. And we're gonna go crazy and throw... Just a salt pile in there too. Okay, albino spider pod, flawless amethyst, and a salt pile. There's no way this is going to go well. Shock cloaked spider. Wait, what did I actually get? Can I use them somehow? Okay, and I got a recipe. Oh, spell tome fear, I will eat that. Recipe, shock cloaked spider times two. It's all the same with this salt pile albino spider pod. And I guess the salt pile just made it more? Oh, okay, it's a scroll now. <laughs> Tosses a shock cloaked spider on the ground that will apply shock damage to enemies that get too close. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know, this might be a cutting room floor area. That would make sense. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to make some of those with a flame cloaked. Because that's just so funny. I wonder what would happen if I threw like fire salts in. Maybe nothing. Just one. Well, what if I did two? And then... Alright, so I have rubies. And... I need to look. Was it garnet? That said wouldn't work. So amethyst makes shock. Maybe we'll just try Ruby. I'm not going to imbue it yet. I want to reread. Spider experiments. Okay. So Ruby salt pile damage pod. So salt in a damage pod, it says, is very bad. So how about we try it? Or we'll we'll do the double pod first. Okay, so that can be three spiders. Oh, but it just left a pod. Okay. So each recipe gives three. All right, we'll try a damaged one. And an amethyst. And a salt pile. It's probably just going to explode. I'm fully expecting that this will just explode in my face. So... I'm gonna say first. Explode. 
exploding shock spider. Uh, spider, spider, spider. Exploding shock spider. Amethyst plus a damage shell by no. Oh, wait. Did not. Oh, I went and eat the salt pile. That's a shame. I'll try the ruby. I accidentally put a leg in there. Whoops. And another damage pod. Okay. So damage pod, ruby, and salt pile. It just says exploding flame spider. It left the salt pile alone. Darn. Yeah. Okay, so regular cloaked is just salt in the thing and regular and exploding is just damaged. Oh my gosh, they do look really cool. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's moving. I don't know why, but having it move, like, just in this little screen makes it so much worse. <sighs> oh, just look at it. Oh, just his little wiggly arms. Oh, jeez. These could be really useful, though. Gosh, they look so cool, though. Do you wiggle? And his arms are bent backwards. He's like covering his little head like, no, no, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, I'll explode from embarrassment. I'll take you out with me. I swear I will. I think it's also very interesting that the exploding ones look different from the cloaked ones. Oh, Jesus, also translucent. I didn't realize that before. Oh, gosh, it just, it just keeps moving. <gasps> Is that part of the normal game? I'm not sure which mod is doing this. Or if it is part of the normal game. I think it might be part of Cutting Room Floor. Because I never found this when I was playing vanilla. I'd be very, very curious to see if it is in vanilla. Also, welcome back, Gamer Feline. Oh gosh, yeah, just the slight movement makes it so much worse. Ah. <gasps> uh. Okay, did it say garnet or no good? Da, 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 da. Okay, yeah. Diamond and garnet are no good. Cute spiders, cute. They are kind of cute. They're also a little like, hmm. Oh, emerald. I don't have any emeralds on me. I don't know if I found any emeralds. Would that just be poison? Probably just be poison, right? Here, let me... Let me summon my dead guy. Da -da -da -da. There he is. Thank you for not putting it inside the ground. Okay. Mm. 
No, I think I sold them. I was like, I need money! Yeah... Darn. I sold all my gems. How do you know when you have read all the books? Um, I will have to go wiki walking. And frankly, I don't know if I will find all of them. I figure it's a fun idea, so... Read a few books every stream. Probably just have a stream dedicated just to reading books. Collect an entire series. Or every series. See if I can actually get a house. Make a giant bookshelf. Yeah. Fun stuff like that. Oh, hello. Oh, this is in Solstheim. Um, for reference, this is White Ridge Sanctum. So, if you want to take a look and see if that is in vanilla. Don't want to go through there. I don't want to do that. Oh my gosh. It's just spiderwebs everywhere. I think they let their experiments get out. Oh, it's like I do want to take them, but I don't want to read them right now, if that makes sense. Oh well. I should probably just grab them all. Yeah, I wish I could grab these without reading them first. Oh, a sapphire! Yoink. Yoink. Jokes. Uh, there are also modded books in here. So there are ones that were in previous Elder Scrolls games, but not in Skyrim. That are now in Skyrim. Okay. Potato! So yeah, I'm just taking all of them. And then I will... Throw away, I mean, um, drop off any duplicates. I guess at some point I do just kind of need to start grabbing books. Uh... I mean, there are mods in here? Oh, okay, Chorky. Huh. Tale of Kirin. Take the emerald, coin purse. More books. Oh, the spiders are from a mod. Okay. Is it cutting room floor? I'm kind of assuming that's it, because I don't think I added any other content mods. Okay, I know I have some duplicate books now. I don't need all of these. Like, I don't need two arrow shot women. Okay. Yeah, I don't want those. Okay! Oh, Jumper Berries. I'll happily take those. Well, since the game was so kind to give us both poison, I mean, emerald and sapphires, shall we throw them in? For funsies. I'm gonna leave the salt pile in there. Because I think those are just more useful anyway. Alright, em Emerald and Spider Pod. 
Just a normal spider pod. There's a mod called Arachnomancer Spider Spells. Um, I do not believe that is what this is because I did not install that mod. That sounds very amusing, but I did not install that mod. Okay. Yep, poison. Poison boy. All right, let's throw another salt pile in there. And a sapphire. And... Oh. And albino spider pod. Kind of need that. Alright. I'll probably come back and make more, but I think for now this is pretty good. Hopefully there'll be an easy way to get back here so that I can come back and make more, but... Hmm... Yeah, I'm not sure if the spider did actually come from there or not. Uh, no, I didn't install any mod packs. So I picked all the mods myself. So I have, um... Oh, what's it called? Immersive Creatures. And so it is likely... Oh gosh darn it. It is likely that that is... Uh, the thing is that Immersive Creatures itself wouldn't have added everything in here. So it really feels like a cutting room floor thing. But I do have Immersive Creatures, which is where I would normally assume that these are from. And that is actually where I assumed that they were from until I found this place. So... I don't know. What am I doing? Uh, dead eye. Can you dredge up my corpse, please? Thank you. Alright, Dwarven Battle Axe. I don't want to use that subjugated ghost thing. It feels wrong. Step of sparks. Uh, eh, no. Maybe I should keep it, but nah. Put all the armor away. Um, I still need to put together a list of all the mods that I have installed. I will go ahead and post those on the Discord. Um, I just need to remember to actually do so. And then you guys can take a look and discuss where you think these spiders came from. Uh, I would love to put these away, but I don't want to lose them if something happens to the body. Kind of the same with the books. I do also have a lot of bones now. Oh, we'll put the iron away. Don't really need that. Sort of buckles there light enough. Or 
Where's the Lizard Maid collection book? Um, I haven't found it yet. Not in this playthrough. I'm sure it'll show up. Did I dump enough? Ooh, not really. Not really. I don't like that room. This feels like the testing room. <sighs> no? Nothing? Oh, skulls. I'll take those. For some reason, skulls don't really seem to drop as much from... BODIES! Nope, 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 nope. You go fight. Oh, I'm just glad they weren't the exploding ones. I hate spiders, but I don't like them either. And I don't like things ambushing me. I mostly just do not like things ambushing me. <laughs> I was expecting something bad from that room. But yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are there so many? Is this just the spider farm? Is that what this is? So that you can just keep making spiders? Oh my gosh, I think it is. I think it is. I think that's exactly what this is. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. A lot of damage pods. Maybe it's because I didn't kill them humanely. I would need a lot of rubies, though. Okay. I'm closing the store and barring it. Come on. Oh, okay. She's trapped inside. That's fine. I'll resummon her. Okay. That was a bit of a note pit. Yeah. That's uh Okay, I just I just resummoned you and you were already in the way. Ma'am, please. Please. I do really appreciate the design of the fire atronach. Or flame atronach. So pretty. But you are very much in the way, ma'am. Please. I need through. Uh, fine. Just resummon you on the other side. There. I didn't want to do that, but you forced my hand. Okay. 
right, there's a person. There are more spiders over here. Now close the door. Where did you where did you come from? Is there another one down here? Yes. Just die, please. Okay. My goodness. And they respawned in there too. Oh. What? Why is there just a dude? Um... Okay, hit his hitbox is inside the wall, but his arrows are outside. That's what? Just what? <laughs> uh, I do not understand. I will happily take all these pods. They're all very silly. Is that our crazy person? No, that's the crazy person. I'm amazed she's not attacking me yet. We're just standing here. She definitely sees me. That is a exploding spider, I think. I should try... Shock cloaked? Maybe shock cloaked. <laughs> I love it so much! Oh my gosh. Deploy the spider! Ah. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. It's so stupid. Hello, my pet. You're so cute, aren't you? Ah, so, so precious. Here, you guys can go attack him. It, it, it's okay, you can go attack him. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so, so much. I hope he lasts for a long time. I might have to make a bunch of these guys. <gasps> she even had more scrolls for me. Ah, oh, amazing. Wonderful. More spiders. Oh, and her journal. I know what he's planning. Does he really think he can take all the credit for discovering these spiders? Next time he goes into the safety cage to do whatever it is he does with those spiders, I'll lock the door. He'll have no choice but to listen to me then. What's he mean about me not being right in the head? There's nothing wrong with me. He's the one trying to steal my discovery. Does he think I don't see what he's doing? There's something wrong with me. Nothing. He keeps talking to me like I'm insane. I'm not insane. Who said I'm insane? Did I say I was insane? I'll show him insane. It doesn't matter. I'll see what real power is. 
The chanting we just heard outside is the main chamber must mean there's something extremely powerful there. If I can get my hands on that energy and bring it back, who knows what kind of discoveries we can make from it. The chanting? I mean, normally I would assume that... Oh, that's just my spider. I don't want to get close to that pod. I want to explode that from a distance. Um, normally, I would assume that... Shoot, I already lost my tray of thought. Spider, please. And now I run. I run away. Okay, cool. Now we're good. Oh, right. Normally, I would assume that the chanting would be a word wall. However, I thought only the dragonborn could hear those. I didn't aim up high enough. What? Am I just completely missing? Um, uh, I spike. Okay, that is clearly supposed to be hitting that. What about that one? Alright, just let the flame cloaked one hit that. It doesn't count as a summon. Do you see that? Ah, oh, they're precious. My precious babies. Oh, interesting. No drops? No drops from the summons. Very interesting. Let me up on here. Run away! Yes. Yes, my minions. Ah. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, I believe in spider superiority now. Or spider minion superiority, anyway. Okay, this is probably a transition door. No, it's not. Okay, we'll be- we'll come back. We'll come back. And it's already been another hour. Oh man, it is so easy for me to play so much Skyrim. I might have to call it here for today, though. Just because otherwise I'll be like, oh, I'll just check the next door. And then by the time I know it, it's been five more hours. And look at my precious baby. My precious spider. My, my spider children. I wonder how many I can have at once. These are absolutely worth the gems. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay. Okay, I do think I'm probably gonna have to call it here for today, though. Because otherwise I will just keep playing for five more hours. And I can't do that. It's already been seven hours. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, I need to find somebody to raid. <laughs> for my Sandy and probably for your guys's. I won't be playing more Skyrim until next week. And I'll be, be, I'll be like, oh, but, but maybe, maybe more Skyrim. Oh, but what if I, but what if I play more Skyrim? Oh, man. Oh, but that'd be so nice. Uh. What the heck? Locke says he's playing Minecraft, is he? Locke, are you actually playing Minecraft? You know, I haven't raided him in a while. We might just go ahead and raid Locke anyway.
T'sais. Okay, well... I might be rating him just in time for his karaoke stuff. So... If I do it now, I would, I'll have to do it really fast, so... Okay. Raid. Fun lock. Oh, except I'll probably end up getting ads because, oh well. As raiders, you guys shouldn't! Which means I should probably pull up my own video so that I don't get ads. Ahaha! Because if I do that, then it'll actually properly raid in! Right? Okay, anyway. Raid. And... I've got two raid messages. There's the first one. And the free version. As always, that is what the one for subscribers looks like. Alright! I've been Katara Kalen. Um, next stream is probably going to be on Friday, so that is not tomorrow, that is the day after. That is going to be starting 12pm PST, 3pm EST, or 8pm GMT, and I'm going to be playing uh, Library of Rumina. I don't know why this slipped my mind, but it did. That is kind of a torture game for me, but you know, it's, it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, thanks again for coming, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!